How old are you? Uh, I'm turning 28 next month. We're the same age? Well, how old are you? Point, same point. Same. <laughs> <laughs> dude, get down from there. No. Dude, get down. No, I won't. You got it, dude. No, I'm gonna You're so scary, dude. No! Don't do that. I'm actually too scared. <laughs> The shirt's too tight for me. What do you? Do you why think the shirt looks good on him? Um, you can literally yeah, see sure. my belly <laughs> frumping out. Just say it. You can say it. Listen. It's a little tight, but it's okay. It's a, <laughs> what the, f dude? <laughs> no, it's good. Is, you is, it, is your and Ludwig's? It's like a sham relationship, right? Like if you met him at a bar in Boston, Massachusetts, you wouldn't fuck with this guy. Hey, how you doing? If he came up to me like that, let's role play this. Let's role play this. All right, so we're in a bar in Massachusetts. Yeah. And Ludwig the fucking approaches. Pats just won. The Pats have just Yo. won. Yeah. Let's go! I fucking love the Pats. Let's you're go, rooting Brady. for who the Pats? Who would they be playing? Against? They played the Giants. The Giants. They're rooting. Oh. You're, you're, and you're, of course, okay, you're rooting for the sad. Giants. I'm a little sad about it, but you know it was a good time there. Yeah. So yeah. Ludwig comes up and he is wearing that shirt and go. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> you know, I would laugh. I would laugh, but I would think I would walk away. I'd be like, "What's wrong with this guy?" <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't say, "Hey, bro, we should do an event together." Yeah, I don't. I don't think. Hey, what if we had a sponsor pay us to do an event together? <laughs> Yo. You don't seem like a liability at all. You seem like a good guy. Yeah, and no. then we'd get along great. We get along handsomely. Yeah, I think so too. We we went through war this weekend. It was a uh, it was a hell of a two days. Although yeah. I will say. I haven't brought this up to you. What? Mm. I don't think you fucked me that much. Wait, why? Mm. We did Ludwig Terrick last year. I also don't fuck with him for what it's worth. Go I'm on. gonna say the thing I said again. <laughs> we uh we did the event last year, Ludwig Terrick Invitational. Mm -hmm. Terrick stays in my place. We have a great time, jolly time. We chat about life, love, pursuit of happiness. This yeah. time comes around. I'm like, you need a place to stay? He's like, ah, I'm at Hassan's. You already asked. Oh, yes, you damn. Oh, you asked me late. That's why. Farther. Oh, farther from, so far from the away. place, too. I already, uh, I already made plans with Hassan. That's why. He just, oh. he, you know what it is? Hassan's jealous. This is a, a war. No. You're a pawn in our Actually, game. Actually, it's, it's funny because you say that. Uh, what was it? I said I was going to. I said something. Oh, yeah. I said I worked out with Ludwig uh -huh. this morning. He's like, oh, you worked out with Ludwig. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a jealous bitch. Wow. Because yeah. when Sea Dog comes around, he does the same thing. Sea Dog will say, my place. And then he'll go to Connor and be like, staying at Lud's, huh? Staying at Lud's, my place too good for you. And then, and then, and then Tarek comes around and he'll rub it in my face. Like, yeah, I got Tarek they're over. Always, they're always on our, our shit. I hate this. I hate this high level Dude. meta of who's, who's hot and who's not. Yeah, and it's who's an friends. arms race. You have to learn Turkish. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, like, Hassan is chatting with Tarek in Turkish. What he's doing is he's live 10 hours, and he goes, Yo, Tarek, you want to come on, and you want to watch this video with me? <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll work out in the morning, and then he's like, oh, I'm going to bed. Yeah, Hassan's, like, very, like, uh, he's work ethic. He's sure. about his he's business. Routine. He's about his routine. He's about his business. Routine. I'm about vibes. Vibes are good. Vibes are good, but routine is good, too, though. You gotta agree <laughs> with that. You gotta agree with you that. You don't have a routine. I don't have a routine. No, no routine. You wake up That's around we call the same you. time every day, or no? No routine, Randy. I wake up around the same time every day. I wake up, yeah, I wake up around the same time every day. When do you wake up? Like 10. What about the rest of you guys? Ah, uh, that's an invasive question. I'm not <laughs> invasive question? <laughs> yeah, invasive question. I'd, I'd say like 10. Like 10? <laughs> yeah. Listen, I, you I are, up Tarek, the, the reason why we hate you is because <laughs> you are on a, you're on this t pyramid tier. Like, imagine the food pyramid. Okay. Remember the top, it's like candy and pizza. Yeah. yeah. You're in the top tier of people he will respond to right away. Talking about Ludwig or Hassan? Ludwig. Ludwig, yeah. And with us, people who've known him for his whole life, I know he, he used to come in his pants when he slept over at my house. I still do it. <laughs> no, still do it. <laughs> he used to sleep on my floor. We catch excitement. a flight later on, and he'd be like, I. He's, say, he's saying it like I did this but weekly. It was a one time thing. It didn't happen one time. He, you keep saying, like, he used to come over my house and come in his pants. He, it was one time I came <laughs> in my pants. Speed, yeah. Because he's a man. Yeah, 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 it's a real yeah. story. I'm really, I'm, I'm very. Um, it was like a wet dream or something? I'm very, I have a lot of vitality. Okay. Yeah. A lot of vitality? Yeah, yeah. He has wet dreams as a man. A grown man, <laughs> like a child would. I could. Yeah, he wakes up and he says, "Oh, I've fast. spermed myself. How unfortunate!" That's <laughs> Wait, so, how long have all of you known Ludwig? Twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Yeah. Twenty seventeen. Yeah. I so, see. so basically, I've known him this this whole time. Yeah, yeah. I hit him up. I say, "Hey, hey, OG, what are we doing? How's it going? <laughs> What's up? Bro? I love you." I'll say that sometimes. Dude, he yeah. will. Crickets. I don't answer. Literally a lot. crickets. Why, so you why? say you, it's it's like the meme where it's like, babe, don't go back to him. He's not good for you. And then it's like Tarek, W Y D. Yeah. Do you think he's like intimidated by all the love? No. Absolutely oh, not. That's, that's a good question. Really good point. Yeah. That's a good. That's don't a good give question. him an out. You're giving him a trap door right now. <laughs> we don't intimidate him. Ever. Slime sends me a text about twice a week, and it goes, 
Dubbin, which is his nickname for me in all caps. And it goes, I like you men. I like you men, smiley face. I like you men. We never hang out anymore. And I have been, <laughs> been responding more. But you, you, for a long time, it was just crickets, man. Yeah. And then, and then this guy. Oh. Dude, I used to watch his. Oh, oh you so won. Mad. You watch won one I, uh, a big tournament, I guess, at one point. I used to watch your dumbass play fucking CS, <laughs> face it, or uh, ESEA oh. way late at night with Som and the gang yeah, till yeah. five fucking a.m. Yeah, before the game even came out. Yeah, and I was like, this is the greatest shit of all time. Mm. And then Valor So what do you want? So what are you mad about? Like he I'm won't mad, message you? It's everything you, I liked, he liked later we're on. We're starting aggressive. Can I can I bring our vibes down? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you're you're trying to make an argument that because of Tarek's success as a gamer and maybe his status as a streamer, I replied to him quicker than you guys. And his uh and biceps and triceps. Biceps and triceps. Clarify. And his muscles, which I noticed at the event, and I was like, Tarek has big arms. I had never even knew that. You got big muscles. He does yeah. not have bigger muscles. I was working out with Ludwig the other day. Yeah. I was, I was, he's, he's way stronger than me, that's for sure. But he looks stronger than me. He, he, does, does. he does look stronger than me. That's yeah. really all that matters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look really strong or be really strong? I'd rather look really strong, but I don't. I look like I fucking, I, I, I gave up. No, I didn't give yeah. up. no, right? No, guys. No, no. you look like you a look sine like... wave. It goes like out and then in with the chest and then the chest and then. <laughs> Don't bring up the hole, man. 315 for 10 on deadlift today. I'm doing reps. Okay. That's doing nuts, reps. That's yeah. Curly pop. Wow. Okay, whatever. It's stupid. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to counter your argument. Please. I'm going to say I'm actually a bad friend of Tarek. And I'm going to oh, tell you why. Okay. Do you agree? He'll find out if he doesn't agree already. Let's see. So we did Ludwig Tarek Invitational. Day one, Saturday. Long day. Made a little bit longer by the fact that I made the commander decision to switch a best of one to a best of three. Which made sense. Which made a lot of sense, and the match was great, and I'm happy we did it. Yeah. However, because of that, it delayed everything else by about, like, two hours. It was supposed to end at 8, 8.30 the latest. It ended up ending at 10.30, I think. 10.30, yeah. So yeah. literally a two-hour delay because of my decision. But I, you guys might not know, even the viewers at home, Tarek's in town, he's not in town often. I set up a dinner for him. Yeah. <laughs> I set up a dinner at, at the place that we go, the Japanese yeah. barbecue place. Is it good? Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's, it's, it's I really hate that good. you had to ask. And I yeah. will. Because it implies, <laughs> it implies that you were unable. Because oh, sure. <laughs> it implies something about. <laughs> so, so, I, I set up this dinner for Tarek, and I invite, I invite a lot of people who, who play games with Tarek online. It's, it's Asan, it's, it's Foosley, it's Tina, it's whoever. Yeah, I'm, I must have missed my invite. It's all good. You didn't get it in the mail. I didn't get it. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Through, you sent it to the post office, which I is just, crazy. Weird, we're so close. We I just it. respect their work. <laughs> anyway, I I, uh, I set up the dinner for nine, which is the latest they can do it. They're like, I asked because I know the manager. I was like, hey, can we do any later? He's like, this latest. I'm like, all right, fine. And then and then the match is last match is going. It's C nine and hundred thieves. If it ends two zero, it ends at like eight forty five. We can make it. Yeah. It does not go too well. Mm -hmm. It goes to a map three. I turn it to goes the maximum distance <laughs> over times. I turn oh, to Tarek. Yeah. I go. I'm going to the dinner. Are you coming? And he goes, I got to stay. No, we, we, well, it didn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. It yeah. wouldn't have made sense for you to leave. <laughs> imagine, I, your imagine, name's imagine, on the fucking building. But yeah, mine is so two, is yours. Mine is two. And I walk out the building. <laughs> Dude. And I go to this dinner. <laughs> Why? And I don't watch the last match. Because by the time I knew for sure that it was going map three, everyone was on the way to the restaurant. Uh. And it was a bigger L in my mind to go to the seven people who I invited. And be like, hey, me and Tarek aren't going. Uh, Have dinner with yourselves. Uh, oh, because this is also off the back of you not making your previous reservation at this yeah, place. Yeah, I was going to say, that was part of this, kind of, was... No, I don't think about that at all. The only one at all? <laughs> not even a little bit. I think it's context <laughs> that matters, because this is one of those places that, like, he has to know someone, and he has to, like, kind of pull a favor to get a reservation, like, that kind of thing. Yeah. And last time, he didn't show up. Yeah. Well, it's why just, is truly like, a terror? Game? So, he, no, sent, no, I, I so he sent the boys. We all went in, in his place and ate a nice meal. Oh. But that was fine because someone came anyway. It's fine. Yeah, but I don't know. I think that we know, paid. They, they, probably wanna, they probably want to oh, see Oh, we didn't you. pay. No, we never <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. So anyway, that's why I'm a dog you're, friend you're of Tarek. You're up a tap. <laughs> I'm a dog friend of Tarek because I set up a dinner for him that he wasn't invited to. Okay, I mean, I feel like it was just kind of shit luck. I'm not going to lie. It was also a really long day, so. So long. 12 and a half hours. Yeah, it was it was a hell of a day. But I'm glad the match was delivered. The last match delivered so and well. And I made you wake up at 7 a.m. that day to work that out. That was the day that I had, like, <laughs> yeah, that was the day that we woke up on, like, six hours of sleep. And Ludwig's like, oh, because he heard me on stream. I was talking about, like, oh, I haven't been to the gym in a couple of days. Like, I wish I could go. And Ludwig's like, let's work out tomorrow. I'm like, wish? Yeah. Get up. 
And uh, <laughs> we pulled up and had a good workout. Uh, Showered here as well. And yeah? Yeah. yeah. Save time, right? Save yeah, time. Save time. We save time, of course. <laughs> save, save time. <laughs> that was the first thing he said. He's like, what, we saving time? <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta. We gotta save time. <laughs> so anyway, now are you satiated? I'm a I, bad friend to all. I do find it comforting when you're evil and shitty to every single person in your life. Yes. Fair play. I do think that you are... A, you shouldn't be producing events because you want everyone to be happy all the time. And part of producing events is saying no. But you kind of did that to Tarek. He said, stay, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, 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 he probably would have been down for both of us to leave, which I think would be crazy. Like, imagine you're watching the stream and neither of us are there. I wouldn't give a shit. I mean, look. <laughs> for Sean Gears is just got circles under his eyes. You're explaining to your grandmother why it's called this. Yeah. Like, well, these two guys, these two they're, guys. they're exactly <laughs> here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, they I, were. I put in nine out of ten maps. Yeah, yeah. We One did, map we did off. That's fine. One map lot. off. We're freaking out. I, for Smash events, you know, it's pretty normal to take a two-hour block off. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's the Ludwig Augur Championship Series. So that's, that's why I didn't feel so weird about it. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, uh, Derek, I have a question for you. Sure. If you, if Valorant and CS both exploded and they were illegal to play and you could never play them ever again, but you still had to continue being a streamer and live your life. And all your friends exploded too. And all your friends exploded It was a weird too. explosion. Yeah. Yeah. What explosion am I dead? What it actually Ogden didn't explode. Yeah, what's up with that? No, no, you're, not dead. you're not dead because you're, so. So yeah. yeah. What would you spend your time streaming, you think? Would kill myself. Dude, I, I think like the go-to would be like another FPS game, but I also feel like I kind of have fun just watching videos too, just reacting. Oh, which no. Is, yeah. You really did just come from Hassan's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, which is so crazy that you could actually do that as like a streamer and just like full-time live react. Yeah. Like, it's yeah, crazy. It is, it's, watch, it's crazy. I don't know, because I've never done that, obviously. Like, just, just full-time like live react to YouTube videos. Yeah, why and, not? Why not just watch a TV show? You a couldn't do it. You TV couldn't show. do it. No? If you had to swap with me for a week, content <laughs> schedules. Yeah. <laughs> he said you Wait, couldn't you, do you, it like you him. You shoot my two hours a day watching videos. Right? Said, City boy, you couldn't walk a mile in these. <laughs> I know it's two hours, but yeah. in stilettos, your feet wouldn't last. Uh -huh. But I want to point out, like, I never watch YouTube videos, so I'm always fascinated by what's on there. But, like, I'm always just mind <laughs> To be clear, I'm bro, not bro, watching YouTube videos. Finger? <laughs> bro, why do you do that? Yo, there's peanut butter all over that dude. What the fuck? Dude, this guy's at the zoo? <laughs> <laughs> no, That's what he's watching. I know it's so crazy, but I'm like so like in my little world where like, you know, I'll just be watching whatever and I'll just be like so interested in it because it's like, I never see this kind of shit. You, yeah. don't, you don't see a lot. Yeah, I, I feel like that. So that's one thing I, I would say like right now, I feel like I've been in this little bubble of like gaming like a lot of my life. So I'm trying to do different shit. And I would say this podcast is along the lines of that as well mm -hmm. i'm just trying different shit out and doing different shit and putting myself outside my comfort zone are you nervous of those uh i'm not nervous because you guys are like you know chill and like it's kind of fun mm -hmm. oh yeah well we're about to rank uh naked assholes right here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Super, can you bring them all up there's about a thousand of them we're gonna and go over and you have to get them come before, out. He, <laughs> before he cues those up i've been wondering uh, i heard a rumor that you flew back to turkey to vote for erdogan yeah. <laughs> oh my god yeah, we didn't hear that so we're gonna talk about that for can about can you address the allegations before we look at you about your hair it's funny i'm with a song because i know nothing about politics and sometimes we'll randomly while we're just doing whatever it'll start talking about Paul. I'll just nod my head. Sure, man. Yeah. 100%, it doesn't dude. matter what he's saying. I, I, I have no idea. I'm just so far outside of it, but which I think is great because I feel like getting into politics, like even, I don't know. There's you don't a lot want to know about how Vivek Ramaswamy is doing at the Iowa caucus? Dude, he messaged me the other day on Valorant and he was like, did you hear about Riot being a terrorist organization? I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I'm like in the middle of my game and I'm like, what is he saying right now? Do you know about the, yeah, do you know the, about the riot cabal? You know about the cabal, the agents? No, I, I have no idea. You, you should! He uncovered. he uncovered it. He uncovered it. He went to riot headquarters. He did, we, we he did, did real journalism. We were journalism. We he smoked aid. crack in a riot bathroom. There's oh, footage yeah, yeah, yeah. of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, Talking about the content piece. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, Content. I, I like oh. using Tarek's, because he's, he's like the golden boy riot, right? Like, he fucking put VCT on his back in terms of viewership numbers last year. Yeah, it was beast. So man. I like threatening riot with Tarek because it's more powerful. Sure. So I'll say shit like, get me out of loser's queue, or me and Tarek will both quit Valorant forever. And this is a promise. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I got to watch Lud play some uh, Q some alone, and I think he's in loser's queue. That ass. I don't want to hear this. He yeah. has drones on his team. They put the lo losers with the losers for sure. No, which is no. fucked up. Which is <laughs> fucked up. Stay down forever. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I do on LAN. Yeah, that was. Uh, I, I'm actually. I was a little impressed. I was a little impressed. With your, with oh your my gameplay. god, dude, he's so funny. Dude, he's. I swear, he's practicing for the show match. 
Don't act like you don't know. Every fucking night, this guy is an asshole because I boot up to play my two games. I get two games a night at most. Yeah. And when I'm on my two games, he's live. It'll, in between cues, because he has to wait 45 minutes because he's radiant and everyone's dodging. He goes, well, let's see what Eric Coots is up to. Oh, shit, a lot of red. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then he'll be like, messaging me like, tough night, Coots. And I know he's live. <laughs> so I'm You're supposed in. to win, no? Yeah, and he's doing that to me. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, man. Leave the little guy out of this. I respect the grind, though. Dude, during that LAN, uh, we, we destroy the first game. And Tarek comes into our room because they're next to each other. And he's like, guys. <laughs> it was so He's funny. off a little bit. No, seriously. Yeah. It was so strange because then we destroyed you guys. I yes. Know. It was strange. Uh, you guys don't know this, but uh, after map one, we took a shot. We took a team shot together. Really? Yeah, we took a team shot. Wait, and wait, we... wait, wait. I also took a shot oh, yeah, with you your team. With yeah, yeah. I, it was strange because it was all of us. <laughs> it, was it, was just there. <laughs> it was Ludwig as well. <laughs> I don't uh, think he's on the team. Shot the <laughs> We're like, where's your team? He's like, yeah, they're upstairs. Took a shot with the wrong team. Uh, and then we, we, we tuned that we played the second map, and it was so strange. Like, was like what is going on why are why is it why are the games so one-sided like why are we just taking turns stomping each other uh i, I was saying it should be a commercial for we an threw. alcohol company we threw it. <laughs> we just like we yeah, took a shot right. came back and we were just like <laughs> just better yeah <laughs> dude you guys would pile on the b site i was cypher alone just with my fucking <laughs> i was just shaking <laughs> i'm like ah no and it's just like you take the site and we get with 13 one or something it was crazy yeah. It's, yeah it's so fun playing with like people that don't play because I, like it's so cute watching them play almost like it's just adorable <laughs> I don't know just to see the shit that happens and I know that comes off like probably in a it's funny super way super condescending everyone in this tournament plays <laughs> <laughs> like all of them so he's like like fun yeah, watching like, people who don't play yeah I got like hundreds of hours I mean I, I would yeah, say it's, the top, it's just like fun to watch because I don't see that kind of shit that often I feel like the top four were different though top four in terms of what in terms of like Average combat score, or like you know, rating at the event of the show match. Yeah, because they're like it was you tens. You guys were playing good. Oh, here you go. Oh, oh, can you bring up the graphic? It's on the yard Twitter. And number four was me. Squeaked by somehow. Squeaked by. Squeaked by killing your ass three times. You kill me mm. one time. Let's do some math right I can't there. You checked the performance. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, someone someone else like posted it because because the funny part I I'm it. on the bottom bottom. I'm yeah. below Lily, yeah. which hurts. <laughs> Lily's great. Yeah, I don't Rat think her, I don't think her monitor was on the entire <laughs> event. I think, I think she had her. She monitor She turns off. it down to sixty hertz. <laughs> <laughs> she just she, put a handicap on herself. <laughs> she's like I can't game on. She thinks it's how much she's hurt, so she makes it a low number. Here's yeah, the graphic. This is it, arranged by uh, whatever these. I don't know what the mean. fucking number is. It's R. It's, it's rating. ADR. It's a compilation. It's not just average combat score. It's a compilation of many stats that yeah. leads to the number R. Uh, how did you get up there so much? And tens, Tarek Masayoshi. Two pros in like a Ooh, perma just, immortal. You just passed by Pokey too. She's at point nine. Bro, look how high he is, and look how low his headshot percentage is. What Dude, does that mean? What it means, happened? It means judge that player? headshot doesn't matter. Mm. It's judge. Yeah. Just, <laughs> it's the judge. He's right. It is the judge. It's the judge. It's the op, and it's the fact that the body also kills eventually. Mm. Dude, I was. They put me on Omen the game three, and I was like, yeah, I have an Omen because I used to play him a bit. And then he uh, tends to be like, can you smoke C? And I just start throwing up on myself, like <laughs> trying to send the Dude, ball. Dude, he was like, can you, can you do the one-way C? And you're like, ah, I don't know what that is. And he's like, I shouldn't have told you this much time left. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the part, in the, there was a, a part during the show match where uh, tends to slime is like, all right, flash on three, one, two, three. Slime just throws the complete wrong flash. It was bad. Like, and then slime goes, you didn't want that one, did you? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> not that one. Tens is so positive. He was great. Yeah. You, you had a tough task. Why and it, it's, it was not teaming with Lily because she played really well. It was teaming <laughs> with the vibe killer himself, Aiden McCaig. Mm. Oh, Wait, where, oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, right there. I yeah, walk I, in I, and I it looks like a Dementor was in the room. Yeah, I will, say, <laughs> I will say Aiden was bummed out after map one, but I think it was because like he didn't get to play. He also preferred to play Viper. We put him on Brim lurking. So like he, we, I take the fault as a leader. You call that I, lurking? I not. I did not get to activate my player because I knew Aiden was good for it. We uh, just didn't put him in the right spot. Five and Aww. sixteen. Yeah. No, but shit happens, dude. He popped <laughs> off that too. Aw. Yeah, I played good the other two games. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I okay. I I was down because I have been. Uh, you know, so there's this there's this old story of us living together in COVID, and I, I was just like playing a lot of video games, and I was playing like I was playing like League. I played competitive Mario Kart, and I and I played Valorant. And okay. I came to Slime one day at the end of the day, and I was like, I won 
all my games today. Yeah. I played like hours of each game in solo queue and I won every single game and I just felt so good. What I'm going through right now is the opposite. I am losing <laughs> everything I play right Every now. Every game you play, I is. am playing. I am like losing in melee tournaments. I am losing. Uh, I, I'm like not playing very well in Valorant. I'm losing. I played in like sport a sport tournament recently, and I'm playing like basketball in general. Dude, you about and the I just sports tournaments with his clan. He has a clan. Don't uh, say, yeah, no, yeah. no, it's more like the clan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's part of like the clan. What's the name of it? The gaming. Uh, the, <laughs> what is it? it was like the uh, uh, carding kids. It's carding. It's for car. It's, it's, car it's, it's, it's a Mario Kart. Kids. It's a Mario Kart clan. 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 The Kart Kids clan. It's the MKK. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we played in like a sports. Was a C, there was like a big sports tournament I was in where you play like a bunch of different sporting events over the course of like a few days, and I just my team just kept losing. I'm on like three weeks straight of just losing in, in every fucking game. And then, I play. and then he plays basketball and he's getting locked down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he loves to bring that Lovick's up. Lovick's doing off the keys. How true is is Lovick better than Aiden at basketball? I don't attend basketball. What is the verdict, Aiden? I think Aiden, on paper, and I'm going to give you this, is a better basketball player. Having said that, when I'm defending him, mm. he goes, he goes, oh, 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 oh. How does that work on paper? I have to like, shoot in the who? Yeah. Like, like when I'm not there, six for seven. Comes oh, alive. Oh, I see. Wet from three. You apply pressure. When <laughs> Dishing you're on the court. it out. <laughs> I will say Ludwig does have a strategy when he plays basketball. What's where that? When you're when you're about to take a three point shot and you got a high three point percentage, yeah. he goes. Ah! <laughs> do you no, really? I didn't do yeah. that. I, well, He's actually, I do. I, I do yell He's sometimes. <laughs> but against Nick, I go, "You can't let him take those," and then that just stresses him out. Yeah. Like, I, I, laugh. I just start laughing every time. He went 0 for 20. It was embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> hey, I was electric last game. That's great. I was a come on, bro. Don't give me that. <laughs> Back to Aiden it's on your team. You had a rough week, but it was made up for so, by game two. The, losing, just losing that game one in Valorant is just like, dude, it's just, it's happening again. Is it's the just, problem it's, it's, it's off the back of just weeks of being a loser. Yeah. I, I, so I'm just, it's I'm just, just coming to that, fruition. I, I feel like I'm not. <laughs> I'm having a terrible time. I feel awful. <laughs> Terrence, perpetual winner. He's like, how does yeah. that feel? <laughs> what does that mean? I want you to like? imagine all the times you've won in your life. And then now imagine if you lost all those times. <laughs> that's fun. That's, 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 <laughs> that is me since New Year's. It's fucked. Yeah. Okay, New Year's is not that far away. It's not that bad. Do you guys do like uh, any sort of like uh, meditation or yoga or anything like that? Are you guys into that kind of shit? I met Not with a really. sports psychologist. How was that? It was kind of tight. What'd you talk about? Like choking or what? Honestly, <laughs> the dude, it was it was because I want to hit diamond and Valorant. Oh, okay. You talked about how you want to hit diamonds? Yeah. This is why I got the sports psychologist. And he was like... It was funny because you were there. He he's not into Valorant. He clearly hates he's not, esports. He's like, not, he's like, not he, into is Valorant. He a sports coach? He's also no no no. no, no, no. Oh. He's like clearly he hiding he's, his passive resentment towards no, he's not anything really to do with gaming. <laughs> he's like he's like I checked out the whole esports thing. Not and for me. Not, not me. I don't believe in it. He, I'm he, he keeps he keeps saying yeah. keeps saying not enough contact. <laughs> I'm like all right, but oh, he's still funny. like good at at like reading people. And oh, so okay. we're talking and he gave like a couple like I guess surface level things. And I did it during the show match. One of them was like write for five minutes uninterrupted with the sentence starting. I hope in this, you know, whatever event you're doing that. And wow. then you just and you write to get all your thoughts out so that all you're focusing it on is what you're going to do. And I did it. Mm. I'm not going to say it didn't work because I did fucking fry. And then and then uh, the other thing that I thought was interesting is he, he was breaking down my goal focused lifestyle. Goal focused lifestyle, like yeah, I tried to do this and you throw it in my face because mm. I think it makes you a robot. Basically, <laughs> my with no life with, with no emotion. I appreciate you adding that. I can't love. Basically, my <laughs> life for the past fucking decade has been a series of goals that I want to achieve mm -hmm. that I do achieve mm -hmm. with the idea That's that dope. if I try and I fail a goal, I will quit. And Tarek, you might think it's dope, but actually, it makes him uh, inhuman. Mm -hmm. Like beep house. boop, need goal, accomplish. Oh, just like everything's about that goal kind of thing. Yeah, or? yeah, and at all costs, who's ever neck gets caught under the foot. Oh, oh I guess that's good. Yeah, yeah, I'm known for my the viciousness. Amount of kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, I see. so there's a con. please go on, Ludwig. Well, what You're I thought was asshole. interesting because you've never brought up a point that's made me think. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, Rogers, his name. He says, he says, okay, because I I've always had this theory that. If I wanted to quit a goal, if I tried and I failed, I would just quit. And I think that's cool. And I do believe that. But he's like, do you actually believe that? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, give me a time when you've quit a goal. And I was like, well, I've never quit. I'll just always achieve it. And he's like, okay. So then 
it's contradictory, which he's right. I basically think every goal I set, I can't achieve. And if I don't achieve it, it is a failure of me, not that I'm incapable of doing it. And I just need to try harder. So you only set easy goals? I only, uh, I don't actually think I can quit a goal. Oh. Get quit a goal. I actually think if I make a goal, I need to achieve it. And I don't know what I would do if I wasn't yeah, able to achieve it. Or the demons it. get you. Oh, oh yeah. that's, that's interesting. I feel like that's, that's I, like, I think it's a good thing as long as your goals are like things that make sense, I guess. It's a good thing, but it's scary because if you keep making goals, they have to be something you're not currently capable of doing. And there's a limit, right? Like right. through either just because you get fucking older or weaker, like I will just get not as strong, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. So they can't always climb forever into perpetuity, career wise, relationship wise, health wise. But right now they are. And I haven't fucking failed one yet, but eventually I will. So you're saying you don't challenge yourself because the demon. No, more like I'm because like now my goal is like marathon, right? Mm. What's the escalation from that? My double new, marathon. No, Iron, Iron Man. Man. Iron Man. Yeah, right. Iron Man's a marathon with guns. And swords. And swords. Sword yeah. Sword and yeah. I mean, and, and only one can finish. I, I feel like it's a good thing, though. You're just pushing yourself. And I, I see the side of it where it's like too much. Um, that's that's one thing like I feel like right now that I'm trying to do as well is you push my health forward like I feel like for example uh, cardio for me or like my, my cardio is terrible or like just in general like gamer stereotype of like not like you know mm. taking care of their health which mm -hmm. I feel like is a actually not that big of a problem now I feel like gamers are kind of like fit these it's days. coming around it's, it's, it's definitely trend trendy how high paying of a team they're on mm -hmm. if, if it's higher it's worse if they're a streamer or a high paying team they have better fitness oh okay compared to like like compared to like tier two. It's only if they've made it. And that's yeah. what I've noticed. This is not just an esports thing. It's also like a YouTuber streamer thing. Yeah. Once they have made it and they don't feel like they have to grind to survive in the cutthroat industry they're in, they'll worry about their health. I think yeah. also it's just there's so many more eyes on you. There's so many more people like making fun of you in comments or sure. like pointing out your flaws that you yeah. it's just it's symbiotic. You have money. You can Wait. afford to like go train or yeah. eat right or whatever. And also yeah. you are under way more of a spotlight. Especially in LA too. I feel like it's like the mecca of like health and fitness over here. Almost like I feel like it's such a big thing over here. Yeah, no? yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? You get you fucking get it famous. You get famous. You get your personal trainer. You start eating your scooped bagels, and you fucking put a little poop on there. Put, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it, it's. I mean, there's also like body dysmorphia. <laughs> what? <laughs> the voice you use. Put a little that's poop. That's how we talk in California. Yeah. Scoop it yeah. out. Put a little locks. <laughs> eh, a little poop on there. Put a little poop on locks, and you scoop bagel. How old are you? I'm turning 28 next month You're we're the same kid. age yeah that's oh. beast when that's, you turn well, how old are you wait for a second <laughs> wait when did you turn 28 you're August, champion, second, August, 20, August second August second August second August second August second you're a champion man what the hell <laughs> what, what's going on do in there do you ever feel like your stat points are like your your character sheet is like stats gaming is way high but then something got lost along the way. For sure. Someone got lost. I, what, think, what I, think think? I think it's sacrifice for sure. Like, uh, I mean, I, I used to game like 12 hours a day every day for God knows how long. So I feel like you lose a lot of different aspects of your life. So that I feel like almost I'm trying to catch up on those things right now. Think of a random iconic movie and ask him if he's watched it. You ever seen Jaws? Yeah. Well, yeah, I have. Oh, I have. That's a cultured man. That was actually so clutch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's actually so clutch. Pretty <laughs> huge. Low key, when the sharks coming, it's like don't know. Uh, like, uh, like it's scary. No, just swim away. No, I like sharks though. I feel like that's probably why I watched that. <laughs> what else you got? What else you got? This <laughs> fun. Yeah. Oh man, like Good well, fellas. what what uh stat is. Like the lowest you think that got sacrificed for gaming? Uh, good question, actually. Like Riz. Uh, Riz. Well, how's my Riz? I definitely lost some Riz for sure with all the <laughs> gaming I've done, but I don't think it's that bad. I okay. mean, I would I would give myself maybe like a, I give myself a solid six. Six out of ten on Riz. Six. Yeah. Wow. You. I mean, you lucked out. Yeah. You because he has a fucking full beard, no patches. He looks strong even when he's not even able to lift a weight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think if you looked, let's say, for instance, like me? What? <laughs> Wait, what? If Wait, you were, it you're looked, not a bad looking guy. Why, why are you trying to say that? That's such a nice thing to say. But sometimes when you're bald, people. You're look, bald by choice, right? <laughs> no, you shouldn't have brought that up. It's like asking a fat woman if they're pregnant. <laughs> you're bald by choice. You must be. Yeah, no, I'm look, playing. I'm not bald by choice. Well, I, I guess it is a choice. But what? do you think if you were bald, your life would be harder? Dude, I don't, I don't even want to imagine myself bald. Like, I don't even know what my skull shape would Show look like. Show us hairline, hairline, hairline check, hairline check, hairline check. Okay. Uh, Wait, you're hiding a little bit from us. I am. Are you scared? 
I mean, no, I, I'm I'm pretty good. You're killing it. You look great. You look great. Look great. Bit. I don't think it's too bad. Ang the Avatar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, feel like is, I feel like you're I feel like it is you know it. I know, I'm being hurtful. Um, I think about that, man. Like, let's say Tarek's bald. Does he have ten? He asked me this. Viewers? He says, "Would I still be a big streamer if I was bald?" I don't uh, think he would. I don't think it matters. Would that you have much. won a major if you were bald? I don't think it matters. That much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Do you think you'd have all the same friends? Yeah, bald. I, I really don't think it matters. Dirk that much. did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Well, no. Summit fucked up, right? Summit one G. Yeah. And what's that? He got mollied, bro. Yeah, he mollied he's, had, he's not bald. Yeah, but he wears the hat. It's bald coated. No, 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 no. <laughs> he has actually a lot of hair. We can smell our own. No, no, look, so, look at some I, I, I don't know why he wears the hat all the time. I, I know many people think he's bald or balding. He actually just has a fuck ton of hair there's and a, a snatch There's a line. mouse under their gaming form. <laughs> <laughs> it's like his thing, too. Like, he's always got a hat on, yeah. Dude, he's so crazy. That's, that's funny you bring him up, because I feel like with streamers also, like, a lot of these guys are making so much money. Um, and maybe Summit or even like XQC, but they really don't have like the time to like even spend their money. I feel mm. like they're, they're like overdoing it. I would say like, there's gotta be like a line to it. Right. And yeah. They kind of lock it in the jail. It. Yeah. The yeah. jail of streaming. D does any the jail that, of more slime? The jail of more is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Cause you get more and more and more money, but what's the point of all the money? You can't spend it, right? If you can't spend it. And what's the, what do you, what's the purpose of the capital to accrue more and be smog and sit on a gold pile? Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Chad. Yes, yes. Like that's not fun. What's Gold. your line? What's your line where you've made enough money and you're like, okay, I care less about money. I have enough. I now just want to do what fulfills me. I don't have a line. I'm not sure what that line would be. I think I right now I'm definitely taking it a little bit easier because I'm trying to focus on myself, but um, obviously still not let off entirely. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What should my line be? It's different for different people. Yeah, cause I like, guess you could live on like different different numbers. What's yeah. your line? Also, it depends, right? Because like, I think my line now is different because I'm trying to retire my mom next year. So mm. she like... I'll like, retire on the court, bro. You're going to play his mom in basketball? Yes. And retire I think her on she the court. Might, she could do it. She no. actually couldn't. You, you <laughs> would dice her. Um, and there's not many people you could beat in basketball. <laughs> and I think 10-year-olds I think beat you. My mom, unfortunately, loses to you and 10-year-olds. And I've been saying She this. smokes you. No. I've got her. I've she got her smokes. Mom you. plays ball. No, she does. Okay. She could outsmoke him though. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just want to. She just, swallows the road. But yeah, so my number's higher because I want to retire her. I see. Which is like making up for whatever remaining years she would have worked, plus that you know social security aspect. So I think it's a little higher, but I think I'm there. Yeah. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous, man. You know how we all have New Year's resolutions. You know how it's a thing that people do. It's oh. so far past that. It I wanna, is. I want to eat a school bus. It's two you weeks past it. All the parts it? of a school bus. And you know what's his great. That's, it's, and it's, I want to eat all the parts okay. of a school Yummy. bus. And he Yummy. wants them to be pre-portioned. Balls and all. And Shake Drizzle wanted to run a marathon. He did, didn't he? And yeah. you know what that rat's done? What did what he, he do? do? Sit on his ass, play darts, and go bowling. More like what he didn't do. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> was run a marathon. <laughs> he gave up. But hmm. you don't have to give up. It's the new year. I know we're two weeks deep, but you might be giving up on, on eating right. Don't mm. give up on eating right. <laughs> on getting because Hello your Fresh body. can help you. And your mother, father, <laughs> and uh, so uncles all care about you and I, want you to eat good. I'd hate we also you want you up. to stop eating school bus parts, but we'll no, get to that no, little no, bit of school bus parts. No, something about Hello Fresh is they have a new school bus package. Mm. In addition to 40 recipes, 100 add ons, fresh pre portioned ingredients, they also send you school bus parts to eat as a challenge. I got arrested for a school bus package incident. Unreal. Related to this. This wow. is called the Nick Challenge. Let's not investigate that. <laughs> so, yes. ent so enter wow. to win the sweepstakes if you can eat all the school bus parts. Many right. you will win. We even, have to that. even the school bus is fresh, pre-portioned, and makes it is easy to prepare. It helps you cut down on all the food waste. Hello Fresh has a lot of fit and wholesome and pescatarian <laughs> options. All right, high in protein. They're 15 minute meals if you need it, quick and easy. Let and me look, tell you one thing. You know when the school bus comes? In the morning. You know what else happens in the morning? Breakfast. breakfast. Oh, and you know what HelloFresh is promising wow. you? Free breakfast for life. Go to HelloFresh.com slash the yard free. Use code the yard free. You get free breakfast for life on the school bus. Don't give up on your life! One breakfast Don't item per up. box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life! You have so much time! At HelloFresh.com slash the yard free. And you eat it on the bus and the on bus the driver bus. will top you. They use all the parts of the bus. So nothing goes to waste. Make so sure you like thank the bus driver. In the past. <laughs> Make sure you thank, thank, the thank the bus driver. driver for America's number one meal kit. Now, Tarek, smile. I have a question for you, Tarek. Sure. Do, do you remember the first time that you met me and Slime? <gasps> it's got to be like one of the OG CS Summits. Wow, okay. Um, I want to say like CS Summit 5. 
I think that's exactly. But I don't it. remember the encounter. I have all. a video of the encounter. I, oh, I, actually, I remember getting interviewed by you. Really? I don't remember it, but I watched the video. Oh no. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Zipper, if you, can, if you can pull up what I what I sent you, uh, will you have a video of you encountering him? Not yeah. me in the video. Okay, but I wanted to know if he knew that we were there. Oh, oh, you filmed something? Yeah. This was back. I mean, he was still a legend. You know, yeah. is this the and one he where I went? Is this he the was wearing Lopez? the Gucci slides. The Gucci. Oh, I forgot about that. Was Wait, that your Gucci PFP? Too? Your PFP was you with Gucci slides. They go to like the telephone. middle of the video. Oh, it's right there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because this was uh, Freakazoid's mom. Oh my mom. god, dude, this, this haircut is so this bad. This is me and Slime filming you. Wait, I have the same... The same Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> I look like such a kid here. <laughs> I look so different. You're so young. This is like, what, six years Wait, ago? your arms are big here. It's actually CSM before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think... I don't know if I was working out. <laughs> There's Fifth fucking Lord. Robin in his Fifth sleeve. Lord, yeah. Is this the one I went to? This is CSM before. No. This was after. Because uh, I went to one with Lurp. You went the one with the house. Lupus, Lurpus. No, no, Lurpus, Lurpus, yeah. Lurpus. He did, a, he did the, the chicken content piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were in the chicken I wonder one. if Ludwig was at one of the ones I was at. I think I was at this one. Were you? Yeah. And I was supervising. Well, were you like a big mom? YouTuber back then or no? Mm, no. Wait, were you ever at a CS Summit at the house? Or yeah, this, I was at the house too, yeah. So you might have been at that one. Hmm? Was it CS Summit 2 at the house? Or like everything up one, to One, two, four? three. One, two, three. And four was the first one. I think I was at two. And, yeah. that, and that, that's how we're all connected. Gucci slides blow, by the way. Mm -hmm. Can you admit that? Uh, they're just, super uncomfortable. I, I see them as like, like they're just comfy. Almost like, they're literally Wait, not. you think they're comfy? No, not more like convenient. Sorry, not comfy. Convenient. Yeah, but like, like Adidas like slides are like, way not, more comfortable. Yeah, probably. Probably. The Gucci slides is like a rubber death strap. And you know who's falling for the trap? The cycle continues. Zeppa. Has he got the Gucci slides? Got the Gucci slides. It's like I mean, a pro fucking uh, tradition at this point. It's every every pro gets signed and then they buy their they buy their sneakers. They get their AF ones and their Gucci. They slides. They get their overpriced salary that they're gonna lose in two years in the Gucci yeah. slides. There's, there's some pros that like go so hard with that too. Like they just buy so much designer shit and like I feel like some pros overdo like what they're making. You like know? athletes. Yeah. Don't though. Do they act hard? They act hard and like buy designer shit and like post online and stuff. But when Pokemon comes through. They're shivering and they're like, "Can I get a picture?" <laughs> Dude, so many, yeah. so many people yeah. wanted a picture. I was Pokey. like, like one of the oxygen players was like really nervous and wanted a photo with her, and I'm like, "You won the event." <laughs> <laughs> the biggest tweets <laughs> from the event were weren't people winning. It was pictures of Pokey. Yeah, it's that's crazy. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. She's, she's she's got a presence, man. Yeah, and that's why it was an honor to frag at her side. Mm. <laughs> she sent a nice message after. She was like, "Hey, I don't know, I don't stream as much, but I love doing events like these. Please keep inviting." Oh. Huh. Uh, that's Awesome. That's cool. really nice. So, she was frying. I'm not gonna say she was she frying. crazy clutches. She it was so sick. She got one four k in the, the first fuck? game. I was like, holy shit. We just oh, saw sorry, stat. It's not you. It's we not just you? saw a stat that said Dude, I fragged out higher, higher than her. And you didn't say this about me though. <laughs> but you um, say it about Pokey. I call it sexism. <laughs> oh, sexist against yeah. men. Yeah, I think you're sexist against men because Pokey fried in his story. Thank you. Do you think the the rights of men are in danger, Ludwig? I think it's possible. And I think I think, you know. I think it's possible. Did Derek, do the old heads from like CS and stuff, do they ever send you messages like, oh, I guess he's too fucking good for us? Oh, you're now. too Hollywood, bro. Too uh, Hollywood. They do, but they say it jokingly because I feel like. You went through it for real with someone. Who's that? We don't got to get into that. Oh, wait, you're talking about. What are you talking about? Uh, Who's uh, the dude who fucking. Uh, did the oh, Jason? M.Dar. M.Dar. Oh, the L friend thing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like that was like him throwing me under the bus for something that I wasn't even trying to get involved in. I so think it was I, that, but. So, like, I feel like people will say that to me, but I think at the end of the day, everyone knows, like, I'm kind of still the same person where I'm not going to, like, donut wall someone, like, just because, you know, whatever. Um, But I don't think I've really gone Hollywood on my friends, no. Do you keep it real? And if they say it, it's like. It's just a joke. I mean, they can say it for real, too. I mean, I'm not going to take it to... I'm not going to really take it to... I'm not going to get offended by it because I don't believe it. Yeah. 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 I worry yeah. about it sometimes, man. Like, some, an old friend I haven't talked to sometimes, like, you don't make time for me anymore, man. Like, he's going Hollywood or what? He just got rich? Yeah. Well, kind of both, right? And oh, okay. it's like... And then I got to prove myself and send him, like, a picture of SpongeBob doing something funny. It's like, I'm still me. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> You know? That's, that kind of sucks, though. Yeah. Do you feel like uh, you should have to do that? No, I guess not. It depends, right? It's it's maybe like I'm asking myself the question as well, and they're just they just want to see their friend again because I'm busy or whatever, and it's like okay, it's just something you have to confront together, yeah. kind of. And SpongeBob helps do that. Yeah, SpongeBob helps <laughs> bridge the connection. What about you, Lud? Have you ever got like Donald Walled by? Is there like uh, I got Donald Walled? Yeah, 
Or have I done a walled? You've definitely done a walled. We're past that one. We're yeah. past that we one. We just yeah. talked about that. And there's that. four victims in the room. I actually took Carl today. Carl? Carl? Jacob? He had to triple text me. No way. I've been doing a walling him for like two weeks. What? Man, I Is it because he's not hot anymore? It's not about that at all. Do you think he's not hot anymore? It's because I was You said busy. Liam was, Liam, Clint made Liam and Carl Jacobs is washed. You said these two I things. I didn't say that. I, said, did. I, said, I did say Clint has inspired Liam heavily. You said he made him. Early Clint, early Liam it sounds exactly like Clint. It's really funny. This is an aside, but. And now you hate Carl Jacobs. I don't hate Carl Jacobs. I like Carl Jacobs. I'm doing stuff with Carl oh, Jacobs. Oh, you like him now. You used to I like love him. him. You I did love, used I love to love him. You used to literally Carl. say, I love you I love and hang up. Yeah, and we were so mad about it. Fuck, no, it's not gas. Like, this is real shit. This is real <laughs> shit. He used to say, I love you, Carl. Say it back. And we were like, what the fuck is going on here? I switched. I switched. I'm not scared of it. I'm not scared of it. Good. But good that you said that. You know what was dumb as shit? What we did it? a poll on Twitter, and it was who changed the most since the start of the yard. And in the poll, Aiden was leading. And what? Nick was in dead last. I was in second. You were in third. I thought it was foolish that Aiden was leading. And so I replied, and I said, you guys know nothing of the world. Okay. And then, because of that reply, the sheep, because you guys are brainless sheep, sheep. with mind <laughs> viruses, <laughs> they, all start, mind virus. they all start voting me and replying to me, being like, you have switched. And it's like, that's not even what I was talking about. You just saw my tweet, thought I was mad about it, and then voted me, and then it ended with me on top. You did kind of get boomed by the sheep. I, I thought that post was funny, because I'm sitting back, I'm cushy in last place, and I'm like, ha, like you guys fucking switch. And I like, thought about it deeper, and I was like, I haven't changed in three years. That's way worse. <laughs> I'm, I'm the loser of this poll. That's funny. So, uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, you know, I want to ask every time there's a gamer on this fucking show. Are you cut or uncut? Are you cut, or, cut or uncut? uncut? Yeah. I'm cut. What? My yeah. G. Wait, My wait, G. wait, wait, wait. Turkish people are cut? Oh, shit. Uh, I thought they'd leave. No, he just does a different. <laughs> you got are, the DLC. Are most Turkish people cut or uncut? Uh, Have you seen a lot of Turkish wait, dicks? Not, not really. It? I just watched uh, Saltburn yesterday, so I did see a dick. Did you guys watch that movie? <laughs> yeah, I no. great Burn. movie. Yeah. I saw Saltburn. Great movie. Yeah. yeah, it was chill. It was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that is the weirdest response to someone who watched Saltburn. <laughs> Before the show started, he's like, sit down. He's like, Dude, all right, I what are we going to talk about? Dicks? <laughs> dicks, guys, right? And I was like, we could. <laughs> no, we if could I, if you want. I would describe that movie okay, as chill. Not chill. I would say it was very interesting. I was chill in the mm. sense that I fell asleep for like 20 minutes and I woke up at some point. Did you? God. Were you awake for when he slurped cum out of a drain? Ah, dude, yeah, that's his, fucking his crazy. yummy snack. I didn't see that this was movie. Yeah, it's crazy. little snack. Yeah, it's a, a bit snack. of cum out of a drain. Okay. Dude. That's why yeah. people are kind of sad about it. It was chill, it. as Tarek put no, it. No, it was not cool. chill at all. It was, uh, yeah, it was. It was definitely the last. Let people get up to what they want to get up to. Yeah. Um. I. I. I, I was okay about it. I was. I was like, it wasn't that great of a movie. It was okay. Are you trying to be more cultured and watch more film? No, it was just random as hell. Hassan, when I, Hassan was like, let's watch this movie. It's hot right now. We just checked it out. That is the Hassan thing. And you're like, damn, I wish there was a shark in this fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Yo, so where's the shark? Is it coming? <laughs> it was salt, right? Salt in the music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's in every shark movie. <laughs> That's crazy. Damn, Hassan asked you to watch movies? Yeah. Is he, is he like a real guy? <laughs> is he a real guy with a camera shirt? Hassan's off? He's a good like, friend, I think. You think do, so? you, do you think that? Yeah, I would say so. No, he he gets the special treatment because he's he's rare. But mm. Will Neff will tell you, I just want to hang out with him. Dude, Will was. I just want to hang, but he's never around. He's so sad about <laughs> he that. He said that on yeah. New Year's. Maybe it is because I'm special too, and that's why he gives me extra love. Mm. Although dumb, he's a little dumb, fucking, of he's a little rat bitch around me. A <laughs> son at that dinner that okay. you weren't able to go to that we set up for you, right? And we all toasted in your honor. Yes. <laughs> it's the same restaurant. That Hassan famously bought a five hundred dollars shot of whiskey because he knew oh. I was paying. Okay, yeah. and so he's chatting it up. That with, same night? No, no, this is a different oh, okay, night. Okay. But that's that same restaurant. The he saw he's chatting up TJ, and he's like basically cooking up what he can buy this time. You know what he can <laughs> what he can juice me for. I like that. And then and then he goes to the table and he's like, "Yeah, the only person who I'm happy if they if they buy something and not me is Ludwig." I'm like, "Why? <laughs> Why?" <laughs> oh, he gets it, man. I don't know what it, it is. It doesn't feel very social or ist of him. <laughs> <laughs> is 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 not like <laughs> I don't know mogging another rich guy with your powers, socialist. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't think Keeping about it. Keeping you down. 
Five hundred dollar shots crazy, by the way. Yeah, that's insane. It is crazy. Well, I mean, let's not act like we we ate golden steak together. Oh, what? Yeah, we went what to, is uh, this oh, shit? Yeah. What are you guys oh, cool. doing? I'm trying Dude, to get you to hang out with me, <laughs> and you're eating golden steak <laughs> with Terry. What is Tarek. happening? That's such a scam. That's such a scam. It was a scam. Video. No, the golden steak is a scam. Yeah. <laughs> so it was cool, Posted, though. banging on the yeah. fucking yeah. telephone. You know, all day. I was in New York with a few big streamers because we were doing our annual Blood Boy visit. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's insane. <laughs> you're there, getting your blood changed. Filling up his vials. <laughs> Derek's there and he's like, we should get dinner. And I'm like, dope. And so we end up going to Salt Bay's restaurant. Yeah. Which is oh. like what, Al Nassar or something? Isn't it uh, shit? Nustray, yeah. Nustray. Yeah. And 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 we it, it it's it's rated not great, but yeah. they have a lot of pomp and circumstance. Like you order an old fashioned and it's like a 30 step process at the table. You order baklava and like they're basically making it sheet by sheet at the table. Action Bronson <laughs> comes out, makes it for you. And then the big one they have is like the golden steak. Which they really fucking hype up, but is at is its it just core. Like, is it, it just like sheet gold over a fucking? It's just edible just like gold sprinkled like flakes. flakes on top, yeah. basically. Yeah, I hate when they put gold in food. It's so I dumb. hate it, guys. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. We can't talk like this. Im imagine someone they working at Seven Eleven yeah, this, saying that. No, this is a thing. It's like it's shit you see YouTube videos about, and they it's went not, dead. It's not even. I'm not I hate this. when they put gold in food. It's not even expensive all the time. Like, it's gold. You can get like ten dollars sushi that has gold on it. Oh yeah, but those are like fake. That's what I'm saying. Sure, I think it's all fake. You think all gold is fake? I think the big yeah. gold uh -huh. That's what is I'm trying not. to get into the into big steak. <laughs> 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 okay. Big and, you are, and you are the the victims. They're gonna weasel their way in. Yeah. You're, a victim, you're yeah. a victim of big gold. Sooner, yeah. sooner or later, there'll be no more meat left in the gold stick. It'll be all gold. And then we just <laughs> eat the gold. Mm -hmm. Then we're eating gold. And they're now this the government controls us because they have all the gold. Do you think if a meteor hit Earth and it, we survived it, but it was made of gold and it basically four x the amount of gold in the world, that gold wouldn't be as valuable anymore? Discuss for ten hours now. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. You're asking if supply, you're asking if supply went up if the mammoth go down. If supply went down, if you're being an asshole. If you you're no, out of the if if you, You're asking oh, if they dramatic yeah. if they dramatically <laughs> increase the supply, but the demand remained the same. You are would also being hey. Okay. You're using all these words. Yeah. You're being an asshole. You two guys. What yeah. do you think? <laughs> I think all of economics is a lie, and I don't even know if I believe in the law of supply and demand. Now we're talking. Okay. <laughs> now we're talking. And Tarek, finally. I agree with Ludwig. <laughs> I knew I loved you guys. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're making the most here, so we're making the most sense. That's what I'm saying! <laughs> supply and demand. Yeah. Cuck. I'm not like, doesn't make me a cuck <laughs> to know about supply and demand. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys invest in like Dogecoin and shit like that? Or like AMC when oh, I was yeah. booming? Dude, oh, I lost yeah. like five grand in we fucking did. Dogecoin. So oh, we Dogecoin? were, yeah. what, what was the event? We were producing a Counter-Strike we event. producing a Counter-Strike event during the GameStop shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, were, we, were still, we were still at BTS. Oh, okay. And it, it was during COVID and it was at this weird time in the company where like they needed everyone at the company to help like run like a uh, vir virtual events like like what, what was the event? It was like ESL, right? Uh, no, no, it was online uh, RMR. This was this this was this was an actual online CS summit. Was oh, yeah, summit seven. It was the online CS summit, right? Yeah, but they needed everyone's help. So people in the company who don't normally do production are being yeah. trained to do production. Like I'm doing like the audio board, which mm. I do not You're do just normally. Some new shit, which is yeah, fairly yeah. to be fair. Relatively in, in simple schedule because it, it was not an NA event. The schedule was like we're going to work at like three a.m. and shit. And uh, and there was right when GameStop happened, so we beat up before the stock market opened, and we were we were sweating it every day. Yeah, it was we were so like, we funny. can't buy it. You guys were like Wall Street bets. Were you guys following that Reddit or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah we, were, we, were, dude, we were just saying, the ones posting. We, 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 we were saying Diamond Hands. We were saying we were all about it. We, we, we were for in the there. length of CS Summit. We were all. about It was the it. only thing keeping us Cause, happy because we we had to get to the event at like at like three a.m. and because it was the EU RMR, I think, or something. And it and we're just there so early in the morning. And I remember the whole production crew is talking in like only GameStop memes, <laughs> except for Tommy, who's the TD. And, yes, one focus. Of the, and one of the days Tommy cracked. He was like, You guys need to shut up. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. We're saying it on the production yeah, yeah. chat. The chat's going crazy. They're just saying spin Zeppa, spin. Because yeah, 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 yeah. 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 everyone thinks Zeppa's cheating. Yeah. It's like the tornado emoji. Zeppa's been spinning for a while. <laughs> According to Brazil. Yeah. Dude, oh my god. I, oh yeah. They would say uh Gita Gita or something like that. Yeah. 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 What does that mean? I, I there spin? was yeah. it like spin bot. Like it, spin bot. Like he's hacking. Like spin bot, it's like a, on the it's BTS like a CS channel. Oh. There's this like blow up chicken emote that people would spam, 
and, <laughs> and, and the Brazilians started this copy pasta that was fucking, I don't care MIBR, I don't care phase, I only care chicken man. I don't care MIBR, chicken pog. I don't <laughs> care phase, chicken pog. I made chicken pog. I right only like. care chicken pog. Yeah. Chicken pog. Chicken pog. <laughs> and and it, it, this came to fruition during like a triple overtime between MIBR and phase. We're just, we're trapped in CS hell because of how long CS overtimes are. Yeah. And this map, it's map three. It just keeps going. We've been there since 3 a.m. The chat is all chicken pox. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's, Dude, it's a nightmare. It, the, guy, the guy who made the copy pasta is just an old BTS chatter who watches every event is American <laughs> and was just typing it in with broken English because of all the Brazilians. Yeah. She just knows. Yeah. Dude, the Brazilian memes are so good. Have you guys seen that one where it's like the Brazilian soccer player that's laying on the beach uh, with his cock out. No. <laughs> no. 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 What a pause. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no one was, no one was picking Zipper, up on if you could, please. Uh, is it, it's, it's super popular and they love posting that shit in replies and so shit. So they just drop the they, cock? Yeah, they literally just fucking spam replies with it. <laughs> so the like, meme is gay porn. Uh, I, actually, I don't know exactly what the meme it's is. Not I just porn. <laughs> Being naked isn't porn. Ludwig. Posting a dick is porn. Being no, naked, it's not. No, not a flaccid. Flaccid penises are not pornographic. There's nothing why, pornographic why not? about a flaccid are we soft for real right penis. Now? Yeah, that's I'm not, not porn- saying the flaccid person penis was are not pornographic. What are you, a, what are you, a Puritan? What are you, a priest? I'm not a Puritan. It's, not I can, porn. it's, it, it's porn. Is the statue of How David would, pornographic? What's your zipper search to find this, Derek? No, it's art. Yeah, because porn is sexual content, not nude content. Brazil guy on beach meme. Brazil guy on beach meme. Yeah, it's clothed. In a large yeah. sure, the pornographic porn, nude, porn right? means sexual in nature. But if, I it, think if he's a, if he's flaccid, if a dick is inherently sexual to you, then oh, because they're from problem. Brazil, it's porn. That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. Let's, oh, oh, you know hey, round of applause wow. for wow. for the racist. I, I would like to see the penis, and then I'll make the call. <laughs> <laughs> that should be how all courts. What work. if it's a breathtakingly <laughs> huge penis? It then well, then it might not be porn. It might be like a Guinness World Record type of yeah, situation. It might, it might be a, feet, a, feet, a, feet feet a feet submission mankind. to a book. zipper. Show me the Brazilian cock. What's your, what's your guys' uh, favorite esports to watch? To watch. Uh. Uh, like, would you guys pick Smash? I mean, it's melee. probably Melee. Yeah. It's probably Melee. Care so much if, about if, it. if not Melee. If I can ban Melee for okay, a moment. Melee. If not yeah, Melee, yeah. CS. CS? It, Rocket League. Rocket League? Dude, I think Rocket League has the highest skill ceiling out of it any has, other game. I, like, e- like, all sort of skill in game aside, yeah. it, it is like the, the closest I've seen one-to-one to what a sports crowd is like. Really? Yeah, they, they have chance. Like, it's, it's very, it, it parallels soccer okay. like, a lot. And it's, 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 I think, one of the best spectator esports. Yeah. Hmm. Because anyone can watch and understand what's going on. Ball. You don't. You don't get yeah. the tech, but like you understand like who's winning, how many goals have been scored, where ball. the goals are, what the ball is. Ball so in. you can bring in like your fucking mom, and she can follow the event. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's just a really Sometimes good esports. Cars Watch. spin. Mm. Mm. Like Zeppa. Oh, spin like Zeppa. <laughs> like Zeppa. Hit, hit the ball, Chris. That yeah, I think I think CS is mine because of the. I like. I, I think CS commentary is like. Usually you watch a game and you're like, okay, this would be actually better without commentary. Like we would still watch this, but commentary, I think CS is one of the rare ones that it adds to it. And all of the commentators are like really fucking good. I, yeah. Most yeah. I went to, I went to well. a dinner le- last week with a friend who works at Riot, and we were just talking about how good Machine is at his job. It's insane. Yeah, he's really good. It's, yeah. he's like it's it's goat shit. Yeah, we were talking. You know that like Cadian clutch where he's like the one before t- t- the on take a, your time Mirage, son call, yeah, yeah. dude. That's that's an online like. People in two different studios, no audience, and that's still one of the best call. That might be my favorite call of all time. You know what the thing is, though? You can, you can kind of just say that, and if he fucks the clutch up, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So you're kind of placing bets on the roulette table pretty safely mm-hmm. as a commentator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're like, this is going to be the greatest play of all time. And it's like, you do that 99 times. <laughs> but the <laughs> one that hit. hits but that's is why like... It's that happened last night with the Lakers. The, the commentator is about to say something. He's like... And I'll say it right after LeBron hits this uh, this this three point, and then he just whiffs, and he's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on, on the record, what do you think is a better game, Val- oh. Valorant or CS? And oh. I and, and I want you to ignore, if it's possible, ignore like the legacy of the esport, and talk about the game as right now a game. Yeah, like what's more polished? Yeah, I guess it's a way a way to look at it. Well. 
I mean, putting aside CS2 being so glitchy CS2 right now. CS2 doesn't exist. Yeah, let's say, fine. Let's go, say go, go versus Valorant. Let's say end of CSGO. I feel like Valorant actually is way more polished in terms of like the aesthetics of the game. I've always said this. Also, it sounds like, like the, it sounds like a butt's coming. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 there's no butt. There's no butt. I would, say, I would say Valorant is more polished and like more buttery and smooth in comparison to CS, which I feel like is a bit clunky at times. Like, I feel like also Valorant does a really good job of like catering to newer players as well. Mm. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to pick up. And uh, Counter Strike is pretty hard to pick up at first. I'm not gonna lie. It is hard. It's uh, it's it's a tough game on you. Um, do you think those nuances? Because like the analog is also like melee to ultimate, the two Smash games, mm -hmm. right? And it's kind of the same thing. Ultimate's really easy to pick up. Melee is like archaic, but like you get into it and you start to feel the system and it like feels good. Yeah. Do you think there's something to be said about that, or is it like fuck that? It's better to be good to start. Like you mean in terms of like the movement in the games or there's movement, there's like little nuances. It's much like CSGO where it's like, okay, there's counter strafing and you kind of slide and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like less hand holding, but when you get there, it's good. You're fighting to be optimal every frame of the game and you'll never will be. And part of that chase is exciting. Whereas other games they're like yeah. you hit the ceiling of skill for a lot of different mechanics really fast. And then it's kind of like I see. I feel like in terms of mechanics, uh, actually, it's kind of hard to gauge because in Valorant, you're like flying around and shit. Whereas in Counter Strike, it's obviously a bit more stationary, but there's a lot to it still. Like, whether it's crab walking or whether it's like, you know, strafing out. Uh, counter, I, I think movement is hard in both games because counter strafing is such a big part. But I want to say it's easier in Valorant um, if I was to pick between the two. Um, and I think the skill ceiling is really high in both, to be clear. Like, uh, you, getting going pro in either game is just like. Super impressive, obviously. You're such a politician. <sighs> you're like so you're like running uh, for president right now. Yeah. Uh, no. He does speak well. He does speak well. <laughs> I, I, God, I don't take, like, a, take a stance. I believe. Be brave. You. I believe. I, I think it's tough because I do genuinely like both games, and like I do think there's like a really high skill ceiling in both. Uh, but I'll say Valorant is like easier to pick up for sure. Like I said, if you got when you went live four viewers playing and watching Valorant, would you continue to play, or would you mix it up, or would you play CS? I'd obviously be less likely to play. Um, but I feel like right now I'm having fun with Valorant, but I also would enjoy playing Counter Strike because it's been so long. Is it easy to lie to me? What do you mean? <laughs> You're having fun playing Valorant. I've been watching the day to day thing. <laughs> yesterday, was, yesterday was more fun. Yesterday was a better yesterday day. Yesterday was a better day. It's but day to day. Dude. You had a bad Friday. It's, it's been a bad. There's been bad stretches, man. Sometimes your teammates just like it's just tough. Like you get toxic. It is, I know. It, it is funny yeah. to know that. It doesn't get better. Yeah. Way yeah. all the way up at the top of the leaderboard. Is, also it, like, is it just is it just still that bad at the top? It it is bad, but also like I feel like my experience is obviously better because I'm a streamer and people know who I am. Where yeah. like I'm getting like a I'm getting different treatment and I have played off stream on different accounts with like no mic, no com. And people are dicks, dude. Mm. People are like the biggest of dicks. I played for a Red Bull piece on Zeppa's alt account. And and we had this idea for a shoot where it was like me playing on my account and Zeppa coaches me and we play bingo. And I was like, well, you know what would be more fun? Ludwig plays his first Radiant game. Yeah. So we hop on <sighs> Zeppa's alt and we start Jeez. swapping rounds. So he plays around, I play around, he plays around, I play around. And, uh, and we don't have a mic. So we cannot communicate with our teammates, which is not a Which is like thing. standard at this point. But it is pretty <laughs> standard. And nobody in the lobby talked for a while until they did. And they started talking a bit. <laughs> and... And, and, and Zeppa, when he would play, would try to rally the troops together because they're mostly fighting amongst each other. And he'd be like, guys, no, for real, let's, let's try going A. And they just start ripping slurs. They just start ripping oh it. And God. we're doing this recording, and I'm like, I got to mute. I got to <laughs> mute. Yeah. Like, I really was like, what can't. the fuck's going on? <laughs> no, he was like, he was like, he kept saying, he's like, it doesn't get better. It doesn't get better. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not what you should tell me. Yeah. I want to believe it does. But right. apparently it, it doesn't. It, it must get worse, right? The egos sort of get validated because they're succeeding, right? They're climbing the ladder. And so now they yeah. have a reason to be a dick that they feel like is validated. And yeah. But imagine for us, like we're, we're streamers and people are so dicks. I feel bad for girls that play because like oh, they get miserable. the worst of it. Like, yeah, just by just by being a girl, you just, you just get harassed. Some movies are great. I watched Tina play this yeah. morning and, and she, it was like I, I thought it was a five stack. The way they were it was talking, so nice. it would be like it'd be like somebody gets a 4K, they'd be like, nice 4K. That was yeah. killer. And I was like, what? Yeah. It's funny you say that because yesterday my games were like going well and I was yeah. having normal teammates and I was like, what the fuck is going on? You good vibes. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, something's yeah, wrong. It's weird. No, like something wrong. It felt weird because like my teammates were talking. They, they, they sounded normal. And I was like, where are all the weirdos at? <laughs> <laughs> you've, been, you've been in the slums for so long. Yeah, it's, it's a... Well, the, what's shit about being a girl is that like 
what? Let's talk about what for a second. No, it's like when I get on the mic on any video game, there is not a percentage chance that someone will just hate me by default. Whoa. It's just, it's just no. You the ran into it unless bad... I tell them I'm bald. Yeah. Okay. Sure. But I have to disclose that. Yeah. But if you're a girl and you like you you get on the mic and there's just a chance, guys, I have a confession to make. What's that? <laughs> I am in possession of Ryan Reynolds' bones. You have his bones. Wow. I have his bones. What, like you it's, have like a jar or in the shape of him they're still? In, they're in nailed to my wall in the shape of him with uh, the tipping a top hat. What a convenient like time all. to have told us because the company that he used to be a part of that he's no longer a part of, Mint Mobile, is the sponsor of this podcast. <laughs> That's today. true. Yeah. That's true. It was actually unrelated to the Totally Mint unrelated. unrelated. Totally unrelated. Yeah. I'm just really excited funny about connection. his bones. It's a funny connection. connection. It's a funny connection. You know yeah. it's, funny? <laughs> it's funny that you don't pay extra for the cost of traditional retail Mint Mobile because they take the process online. That's true. The other guys haven't fact, figured it out. It's also funny because the bones... When you jiggle them, they go like, <laughs> like they make xylophone, xylophone noises. Yeah. Yeah, also, <laughs> like a the, these bones, as you might imagine, cost a fortune. You know how I was able to save up? How's that? Because I have been mobile. That makes a lot of sense. It's fifteen dollars a month. It's fifteen dollars a month. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I don't think the eighty dollars a month you might be saving is enough to buy Ryan Ryan it, Reynolds it, it skeleton. Feel, it just, I don't it think brought that. me over the top. What can I tell you? <laughs> All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high speed data plus one bone. That delivered on the nation's <laughs> largest 5G network. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Digital right. bones. Right. We, we're now starting this. Uh, right team. now, when you switch to Mint Mobile, buy any three-month plan. You'll get another three months free. That's six and, months. And one, one toe bone. <laughs> one toe bone a month. <laughs> yeah, you get a metatarsal. Pay for three months, get three months free. That's six months. How long? I was better than you at Melee. It's mintmobile.com slash the yard. That's mintmobile.com. I'm doing this now. Mintmobile.com slash the yard. Cut your wireless bill, $15 a month God. at mintmobile.com. Slash the yard. I've said it enough. You get it. Go, Green get Lantern it. fucking sucked, brother. Now, now Archie, please uh, inflate Tarek back up like a balloon with your animating <laughs> skills. <laughs> You had a very funny clip. Dude, I got to talk about LSF. It was crazy. Oh, was it? I yeah. I'm, I've well, given up on LSF. Uh, Zipper's <laughs> AFK. It's uh, basically I'm in this lobby full of teenagers, and I'm trying to pretend I'm a teenager, too. And we're playing the game. We're Why on are you breeze. trying to pretend you're a teenager as well? You're trying to fit in? I thought it'd be, yes, I was trying to fit in. I thought it'd be funny. They're talking about like selling Zins at school. Okay. And like, and Here. I'm like, yeah, bro. Yeah, but, I think you just watch it. So, so Archie can put it up on the, yeah, on the yeah. actual video. I okay. think you'll like it. It. It is one of the funniest clips I think I've ever seen in Valorant. I was telling him too. I was like, "Bro, yeah, I got like I got metal detectors at my school." They're like, "Yo, no way!" <laughs> okay. Shit like that. Okay. All right, here, just press play on that. Yeah, why do you have a towel on your head? That's the whole thing. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Listen, I've been fucking with you guys. I'm a 33 year old bald man. <laughs> my dad is bald. <laughs> <laughs> So if you, if you want to ask me anything about what that's like, Life? yeah. Did you get your wife for Christmas? Wait, do you have a wife? I forget that gotcha. sometimes old people don't have wives. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a wife. Not, well, you're not. I'm talking about the Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I don't have a wife. She said I heard. I thought I heard someone in your background. She said I heard a kid. She's trying to cope. She felt bad. Oh my god! And so hilarious. yeah, this That's whole hilarious. game. And then I come. It was very sweet. They were all actually They're very nice. Did you guys win? Uh, yeah. You know why? Because at the end of it, I was like, so after that happened, I was like, listen, guys. Because they asked me like, how much money do you make a year? Okay. And I told them, and they're like, whoa. <laughs> I'm like, tell you what, we win this game, I'll Venmo you all hundred dollars. What? And they lock in. Oh my <laughs> god! They have never caught. They have never calmed as hard than they did in those like last That's two awesome. rounds. That's so sick. And That's we so win. Cool, yeah. And I, I sent them. You money. actually did. Yeah. How'd you get the Venmo? Yeah, I said uh, DM me on Twitter, and then we'll. Oh we'll yeah, because you okay. That yeah. makes sense. That's Dude, cool. I, I've been, I've been fleecing recently. <laughs> yeah. We uh, so after the Ludwig Terrick Invitational, you know how sometimes at, at the studio they like set up beer pong or whatever and hang out. So we did that, and we we're hanging out for a while, getting crushed in beer pong. You were horrible. No, I was going insane, actually. I was playing really well. <laughs> I'm getting conflicting I'm information. Yes, yeah, was, yeah. Ask him about the this only is, okay. What's the only shot that matters in beer pong? Last shot. Final cup? The okay. last shot. That shot was the hardest shot. <laughs> yeah. so it, is, uh, it is famously the hardest shot. There's only shot. one cup out there. It's, it's, a mental, it's a mental game at that point, and we lost. I, I think it's, it's not just mental. It's more of the fact that there's one cup instead was, of more than he one. He was up seven cups to one and lost. Yeah. Yeah, Whoa. that'll happen. It was but like, I made a lot of cups prior. He's not a closer. Well, you made less than your opponent. Technically, maybe eventually less. <laughs> and so we're, we're hanging out, and, and throughout the evening, Tens had a goal. 
which is double digit shots. He's I don't crazy. know why it's his goal. He's crazy, man. He drinks a lot. He, he likes lot. drinking. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, this is this is the goal That's that I goal. will achieve today. And I'm like, True. I will support you. And and so we're ripping shots, and then it gets to the end where they're like, hey, we got to kick everybody out. Everybody's got to go home. And right before that, Ten's like, what if we go to karaoke? Okay. Is he is oh, he at double idea. digits yet? He's at this point. He has hit double digits. He's definitely okay. passed double digits. He's, yeah. hit, he's hit double digits. <laughs> We've played King's Cup. Shake Drizzle's there. He's getting diced by me in melee. Ten says karaoke time. <laughs> Everything like, is in order. <laughs> and I'm like, Kari only karaoke only works if you rally the troops. It can't be me and Tyson doing karaoke. That's could not be. true. That's cute. That's fucked up. It, by the way, it could, it could be. be nice. But it would if be, you come to me one day and you say, "Bro, I need you. I want to do karaoke." <laughs> everyone said no. I'm fucking there. Yeah. Sure. As like a, if like I need to do karaoke, but generally karaoke <laughs> is better vibes. Tyson sounded people. like he needed to do karaoke. Yeah. You needed, sounded like you didn't want to. He's go on, on double digits. He needed to do karaoke, and so I rallied the karaoke troops, okay. which was polling T. Cause, really? Because Tarek's there, and he's like, ah, dude, dude. It's been such a long day. <laughs> And he's getting his humming and he's fucking the beer pong. He couldn't do it. Yeah, I was. I already had the beer pong choke going on. It was just like too many angles. He's like, I got. I got you made him get up at seven to work out. I, well, that, that was the day before. That was the day before. He slept in that. He's, he's recovering from a workout. I, I, he's recovering. Exactly. He showed up late that day, and I'm the one who figured out the right content. So he was he was chilling. That I showed day. up a little late. Yeah. He was chilling. <laughs> it was fair play. It was fair play. So I rallied the karaoke troops, and it ends up being like a group of four. Which is like Shake, Cam, a couple other people, and then a group of five, which is like me, Derek, Tens, uh, Leaf, and Zelsis. Yeah. And then the group of four leaves in a car together without me knowing, which means we have five people. Oh, yeah. We have to leave in an Uber. So I call an Uber XL, nothing happening. There's no Uber XLs where we're at. So I'm like, I call a regular Uber. Guy shows up. I'm like, can we do five? Ugh. Instant no. And I hate that I had to ask. Why didn't you no, say that? No, he hate that he had I to hate ask. that I had to ask. <laughs> we, the funny part is, we got in the car before he even asked. We all we got in the car. Zelsis is on leaf slash. Zelsis, <laughs> Zelsis is a problem. We're, we're posted up in the back. Ludwig's, and then Ludwig's like, we got five. Zelsis is very drunk. <laughs> and so he's like, he's like, no, can't do. And then and then I I I pull out, I pull out $40. <laughs> you tried to grease the man. I try to grease wow. him. And I go, and I go, how about this? <laughs> and he looks at me and he goes, no. Oh. And I and and then I go okay, and then I pull out a one hundred dollar no. bill, and he goes in a drive. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> really so it, money. They, they loved it in the back. They're like, we love you, Ludwig. And like, then it, it's a, it's a long drive. Oh my it's a God, long drive. Dude. So we're in the car for a while. Zelsis yeah. is on on this guy's lap, and he's and he's and he's chirping the whole time. Tarek's at his looking at his phone, seeing how far the Uber is the moment we arrive. <laughs> And, and then Tens just fell asleep. <laughs> Tens yeah. is sleeping there. Yeah. And, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm the one rallying everybody because I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this double digit shot man's dreams come true. Oh, this is on the way to karaoke. This is yeah. on the way to karaoke. Oh my God. So we, we arrive at the karaoke spot and, uh, and it's like 1 a.m., maybe 1 10 or something. And we walk in, the place closes at two. And the guy looks at me and he goes, closing early tonight. Well, I'm like, what? They never do that. He's like, yeah, we're closing at 1 30. I don't know. Boss just hit me up. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at his wall, there's cobwebs in there. Again? <laughs> Is there any way we could go in for just 20 minutes? And he's like, really can't do it. And I'm like, I'll just pay you cash right here for the hour. And he's like, what do you want to drink? Nice. Okay. <laughs> and we get in. And we get in for a karaoke <laughs> sesh. Uh, take a guess on uh, Tarek's song. Uh, I write sins on tragedies. <laughs> Wait, what? I write songs on tragedies. Oh, uh, uh, Gold Digger. Cool. Mr. Brightside. We did sing Gold Digger out the last song, I think. Wow, which version? <laughs> <laughs> surely, surely it was Kids Bop version, right? Yeah. You it better was, be broke. You bro better be broke. You better be saying broke twice. You <laughs> were saying broke twice. You were saying broke twice. I said three times to make sure. You were saying broke twice. Sometimes four. I mean, <laughs> uh, what was your song? Dude, my song was like. Uh, and at this point, by the way, I was so fucking tired. I think I did uh, Sam Smith Stay With Me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Which is go. really a real slow jam. Don't yeah, dude. I, I, stay with yeah. me. Uh, Octave lower. <laughs> yeah, I was so fucking beat, and I was just like, let's just pick something. And that's the first thing I saw. Mr. Brightside would have been awesome, though. I love that. That's a great yes. karaoke song. Yeah. Uh, this was all for Shake Drizzle's Instagram story. 
the, all of this. Really? Because that's where I saw this happening. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, sh- it's, sh- mm-hmm. oh, wow. Hey, Shane hey, Drizzle, we were, tens. We were at home beating our fucking dicks, not hanging out with you guys. You guys yes, you little tiny dicks, you bro. Also, <laughs> you left. Tiny dick. Well, me oh, and yeah. Nick <laughs> left late, but I, I want to be clear, I would not have come. That's fair, but I would have been, been great if you were there. I then I would have been like, you would have been my out. I wanted yeah, to go home. Okay. It was actually fun. Yeah, I would have. I, I would have gone. I, sleepy time. I love karaoke. You guys both bailed. We didn't no. bail. I was there so late. I not as Nick late as we. Nick was upset that you didn't fucking ask him. Wait, Why didn't no, you stay? I, Why'd you leave? I wasn't. I wasn't upset. I wanted to go to he bed. was upset. Okay. I wasn't upset. He came to me upset, and I said like, oh, the I don't first know. thing I said <laughs> after I finished work, which is what it was, it was work. Is I go, where's slime? No, you didn't. I dead ass said you that. Rotten bastard. And they instantly go, oh, he left hours ago. Like it was a stupid question. You did leave a l- way before everyone else. Yeah, I like going home. We you left like going home. I'm a home guy. You left immediately. Yeah. I don't drink and shit, so it's I was there till at least eleven. Oh, well, it was like midnight Dude, that we listen, left. Listen, your guys' bodies don't quit. Some of ours do. I'm thirty three years old. The hangovers are starting to get worse, that's for sure. I did feel like shit and I had to wake up and do a podcast. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that must have sucked. Oh. Peter, had the, it did. Peter okay. had the liver pills on deck, though. Yeah. He had the, you what know, the, the liver pills? Japan liver pills that you take well, to, like, yeah, not I've get had hungover? these before in Japan, it's actually. Fucking, they're good. Yeah, they're really? They work. work. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck they are. I don't yeah. think they work. They do. Mm, but they works. do take them. <laughs> Placebo. So, uh, the marketing works, at least. <laughs> works. I think it's helped my headache headaches before. Yeah. I usually go for Pedialyte. Uh, that helps a lot for me. You guys have Pedialyte? Just getting, yeah, yeah. Just getting hydrated. Yeah. That's just, like, before I sleep, just chug a Pedialyte. That's what I used to do, too. Um... I was I gonna ask you? Your, your I have, God I have game a question for you. Go ahead. Because yeah, what's up? it's it, not for you. Oh, I don't that, because you haven't won a major, and mm. that's what this is about. <laughs> he loves ringing up your major. Who win. gives a shit about your major? Shut the yeah. fuck up. This, I, I do. Shut I the do. Fuck I do. I love ringing up your Hassan major. Was was as do a lot of other people. Because it's it's cool you that you won the major. Game of CS and his life. Doesn't even know yes, but dude, it's funny. We'll just be like doing anything. That's like the most random person. Like, and he just be like, you got, you know, you want a major. Yeah. He's like, he just he randomly does like bring it up. He does That's like what I'm saying. That. You brought it home for NA. You, Have it you was for NA? It was for real, all of us. Yeah. Little mini question on the way to his question. Have you ever felt that good since? I think it's like got to be like my life accomplishment for That's sure. So beast, so you made, sick. You made yeah. us all feel like winners that day. <laughs> <It> <laughs> That's is. why it's special. Yeah, it's pretty sick. I, I still go back and watch every like. Every oh, you gotta feel so money. Yeah, it's... I think I think it was. I still I remember this. I was at basically a Dave and Buster's equivalent with a phone between me and three other people at a table. Yeah, and for the first time in my life, I saw the Twitch viewership number over, over a million, a million yeah. on a single channel. Like seven it was over digits, a million? dude. Yeah. It was one point one million people watching the end of that shit. Dude, that's yeah. crazy. It's insane. And, dude, uh, and bro, we they should have ran ads. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, lit. <laughs> what overtime hits? <laughs> yeah. And then but you come up on beast because it's like, such a meme and it comes up so often. I was wondering what that actually means to you in your in your life now, which you which you kind of answered. But I was like, yeah. is it is it something that you still like think about a lot? Is it something that like brings you a lot of happiness still, or is it like are you so far removed from it that it doesn't? I'm definitely not so far removed from it because I get reminded about it a lot. That's for sure. <laughs> like right now. Um, it's definitely like one of those things where it was my dream. I think it is every Counter Strike, you know, competitive player's dream to like win a major because it's like the Super Bowl, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's you know, it's obviously been like five years now, right? Or six what, going on six. six years now, right? Coming up on yeah. six. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's one of those things where uh, it is fucking dope, but I can't live in the past. You know, yeah. I'm still striving to do bigger and better. But I'm definitely really proud, and it is something that, you know, I hold very close to my heart. And, uh, yeah, we did it for NA. It's cool that also Counter-Strike 2 came out, so you can't win another one of those for CSGO. So it's locked in. So you're the only person the only from ones, NA to ever do it? We're the only ones from NA to do it. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you runs our shit, bro. What do you get for that? What do we get for it in terms, in terms of what? Like, do you get a fucking big bag of money? It was, uh, I think first place was uh, half a million. Yeah. Split? Team? Yeah, split between the team. So team and I, coach, probably, right? Yeah, and the coach and the org. So after, at the end of the day, I think I owed the team like 20K. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Does so, it put you in the Hall of Fame? Or maybe uh, you guys are better equipped to You were to the answer. MVP? I was the MVP, yeah. It's crazy. Also, it was my, it was my first and only MVP in my <laughs> Counter-Strike oh, career. Oh, shit. So, like, I, I, like, You're clutch. I, I, I fucking... If it's yeah, not I beer peaked, pong. I peaked there, for I, sure. I ask because... It's, it's, it's it, also, like, the, the thing about it, too, sorry to cut you off, yeah, is that uh, uh, the way we did it is the crazy part is the way because like we were like we were down and out like even from the start of the tournament we were yeah. like zero two in the group stage and yep. then even going to the final map of the final match we were down like 15 11 yeah and then we just like yeah it was uh it's a cinderella story it's carried c9 
I think for a long time. Legacy wise? I think in terms of like fans it was for C9. It was magic. W. Because C9, like I realized at our event how much people actually do care about esports teams because the most viewed match was 100 Thieves versus C9. The As old a, ones matter, man. Because they just yeah. they've been around enough, and and the, like a hundred thieves is a lot of fans because the new hot shit. But C 9s games also got a lot of viewers, even though I don't necessarily think like you know their team was the best last year or like you know maybe has the biggest star player this year. But I think people still really ride or die for that org, yeah. uh, which is which is I think more and more rare in esports. They're yeah. a staple, I would say though, like C nine, TSM, even CLG who doesn't exist anymore. Right? CLG's dead. Um, and team TSM's maybe. leaving. Liquid, yeah. Like these guys are all staples. I feel it kind of sucks too to see like some of the staples start to yeah you know fade, fade away. away. Yeah, dude, you know actually the the clip we showed we actually met before that because I interviewed the, at the house and I I ate cereal in front of you. Oh, because you were trying talk. to do my cereal for me. Yeah. That's like one of my you iconic clips. That? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Holy well, shit. Not probably not that part, but like, yeah, oh, the, the, it was definitely based off of like the cereal 4K like pun. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I shot that right. Uh, no, I think it was solo. It was tripod. Oh, it wasn't the one it was with in the, the hallway. French players? No, no, it was, I oh, think okay. it was in the hallway. But yeah, um, there was that. Uh, that This mattered more. It wasn't actually about me, but I forgot what I was going to fucking say. Have mm -hmm. you guys seen the Serial 4K clip? Yes. Yeah. No? Yeah. You guys no. seen it? It's no? so yeah, classic. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know shit can you, can about you, you until you play the, the colorful Serial 4K <laughs> park. <laughs> um, yeah, that's like, this is like my first clip that blew up. I think it was on, uh, is that something called Nine Gag? Yeah, holy yeah, shit. Yeah. Holy they posted God. it, and I don't even know what a the fuck that guy was, but apparently it was, like, a big deal. Oh, this, that's what I was going to ask you. Uh, I'm sure you get this question a lot, but, like, did what's have you ever considered going, like, Valorant and trying to be on a team and shit, or is streaming too cushy? Dude, it's, yeah, I got a lot of offers. Also, I got a lot of offers because just based off my brand, like, being big, but I never considered it really because it was during the time of COVID that I kind of started to go down this path, and I feel like I've done the pro thing. I was pro for seven years. And being a streamer, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's way better work life. It's so balance. easier, yeah. Yeah, dude. Especially as a Counter Strike pro, dude. I was traveling like literally every weekend. I'd be in Europe for like 60 days straight, just like boot camping, playing events back to back to back. Um, like no life outside of Counter Strike. And yeah, that shit is gruesome, dude. Like, I mean, to the people that are still doing it, honestly, props <laughs> to them. But this is during a qualifier for an MLG event. And this is the pistol round to start the match. Dude, I thought my, this clip was, I'm, I always thought this clip was FPL. Yeah, so I'm upstate, uh, living with my brother in his closet gaming, because he's like got this tiny ass apartment, it's the only place I can put my PC. And basically, uh, yeah, this is us well, trying to, There it goes. Uh, I think it was MLG Aspen, I want to say, that we're trying to qualify for, and it's like the first round of the match. And I'm eating cereal, because like, I'm going to, I actually went to one semester of college, this one I was going to college as well, and uh, I was eating cereal for dinner, probably. <laughs> And so, so the funny part is, yeah, I just like fucking own he's him. I just got like four car. kills. Dude, and then I go straight back to eating because I'm just fucking probably starving. Dude, okay, so now Zipper, can you look up Boston Major cereal? Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a remake of that where they put it over me getting an ace in the major. And it's with that clip, but it like syncs up perfectly. Yeah, and it looked, yeah, oh my god, it's so funny. And it's yeah. like he's eating cereal. And that's cereal. the thing I was on. Yeah, it's like showing me as a face cam of that, but I'm playing the major. Um, but yeah, that was my first, I think that clip, like, yeah, it blew up so crazy. What'd you, oh, yeah, 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 oh my god. So this is during the major. <laughs> you guys are TV freaking out. I, I think this is the round yep. that I got. I don't know if this is an ace, but yeah, um, it, it's like the same clip. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it syncs up perfect. <laughs> mm, yep. <laughs> Dude, even the molly. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that, that edit was fucking hilarious. That's crazy. Yeah. When you when you think about when you're talking about like doing you know other stuff in your life, do you feel like that moment is like a like a measuring stick? Like you have to do something that like feels as good as that, or it's a, like compartmentalized and you can move on to something? No, I like think it's yeah. I think it's kind of like I, I don't want to be just Boston Major Tarek for the rest of my life. Yeah. Although it is a really cool and big thing. I don't think you are, to be clear, by you the way. You already are. I yeah. didn't, I don't know about shit. Right. Because uh, CS and Dota to me were like the cool people games, but right. I never played that shit. I was a Nintendo kid. I like the baby games. I like the cute little pictures. So Valorant is why I got in because it's for children and I like the Valorant <laughs> children game. And so I only knew about you because I was watching Valorant streamers. Yeah. And then I, I know the major meme. And then, yeah, every time Aiden, you would bring him up, Aiden would be like, you know he won a major, right? 
Like, I did that at the streamer awards. You came up at the streamer <laughs> awards and they pull you they pull you up as like the winner and then from like the balcony I screamed, <laughs> that guy won the fucking major. <laughs> That's so awesome. That's so awesome. Yeah, we did a we did a, a Birio cart stream for Ludwig okay. at the C9 office cuz we needed a venue. And they had the trophy there. Yeah. And, that's we, and there was a moment where everyone was kind of just crowded around it for a moment. We're just like, <sighs> the trophy's there. <laughs> it is. And everyone's kind of taking their little like museum, Dude. like look around. Uh, there and look to back too. There's me eating. Uh, look, I have hair. Dude, yeah, we, we both look so different. <laughs> Dude, that's the shitty part too about winning an event is that the org gets the trophy. Like the players don't get yeah, jack shit. Like, we can take it back. Take back the trophy? Take I'm it back. Going down, dude. With a Would wonder you, bus? You can take back what's yours. <gasps> yeah. It's well, yours? And my teammate. We need to like replicate it five times. Jack, we're coming. Yeah. <laughs> we're coming, Jack. But that shit sucks though. You win an event and you don't have shit for it. That's why I always feel like there should be like medals or something or like whatever, yeah. whether it's rings or whatever. Because like the players don't have anything to take home. You should get a company to remake it. Yeah. That'd That's what. Cool. Uh, no, you just heist the C9 building I'm and make heist it with you guys. I feel like we pulled it off. I know where it is. Oh, yeah. We'll run another beer. We get it On the brain. I'll text C9 Vincent right now. And we get let in. Brains, brawn, hacker, hacker Why man. Why the fuck is he brawn? You you can be the the smooth talking. Uh, you like you like flirt with the door man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're the dame, and you're the. Oh my, can I be the femme fatale? No, no, he's a femme no, fatale. He's a femme fatale. That's what I am. Look at that. Oh, Look at how cut he is. He's so fatale. He's femme fatale. You are so important though to the heist. <laughs> <laughs> and and you're the, yeah, he, he's the one where we go. All right, and you're gonna watch. The uh, the headquarters. You're gonna watch and you make stay, sure. Can I, be the, can I be the two brothers in Ocean's uh, movies who just like fuck off to Mexico for all of the it? The Mormon guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they come back. It's, at that's the end. you and Nick Yingling. Yeah, <laughs> we had to figure out a situation in Mexico, <laughs> so we're gone for the whole movie. Um, we could do it. Well, look. Do you feel like you've already passed that then? In terms of, you're not just Tarek the major winner. You're Tarek the major winner, also biggest Valorante streamer. Yeah, the watch parties are insane. It's They're crazy. Kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, you like, were the second biggest streamer in uh, the world last year. That's fucked. Yeah, up. Oh, yeah. I was watch. Was it number two or was it? It was number two. Yeah, yeah, that's insane for sure. Because the fact that I'm getting more viewers than the actual broadcast, and I'm not really like planning or doing anything like out of this world. It's just me, like you know, giving my insight and just being who I am. So it's kind of cool that I don't have to like force mm -hmm. anything on it. And it's like, do you feel back guilty? Until. Um, do you feel guilty that so many people listen to you and? Sometimes you just kind of wake up and roll out of bed. No, because I'm straight up like, hey, I just woke up and I'm out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> you're straight up and you can probably tell too. Uh, but I try to, you know, I try to avoid that. And that's me like also trying to get into a better routine of like waking up at a reasonable time and, you know, going to the gym and shit like that. So I'm getting better at it. Um, but yeah, the watch parties are nuts, dude. Yeah, I think we, I think I peaked at like 220K at some stream uh, last year. This is what I got for the fucking subathon. That was my peak for the subathon. Yeah. And that shit took a month of my life. Yeah. That's pretty sick, though. Do you fuck with Warzone? Uh, actually, I used to. I fuck with H1Z1. You know H1Z1? <laughs> I love Dude, that game. That's it's such crazy. a weird thing We've to been say. Playing. I haven't played it in a long time. <laughs> You're like, ah, I'm a... it just got me. It just got me thinking about Battle Royale. Uh, yeah, no, though. yeah, yeah. I fuck with it. Uh, I, I, well, I haven't played Warzone in a minute, but it's fun, though. Uh, I, I played a long time ago. Not the newest one, though. We've been, playing, we've been playing Warzone 3. Dude, I should play with you guys. I feel like it'd be a blast. Let's do it. It would be really fun. We it's... would win in less than four games. Really? Yep. You guys are cracked. There's we, dog. Don't fall for Terry. I'm, I'm not a variety gamer. We are guys. equally cracked. To, equally be, clear, cracked. to be clear, you're not a gamer outside yeah, a gamer. of Valorant, 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 Valorant player. Yeah. I've seen yeah. you in 2v Tuesdays. I've seen you on Fortnite. Yeah. I, I put him in Fortnite Dude. with like teams to carry, and it's like he's not doing that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like playing with Toast and like someone else, and Toast is carrying. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I, it takes me more time to like, I feel like TAC FPS. I'm like, so TAC FPS brain. And sometimes I overthink in other games where it's just like, I need to just play the game and just let it happen, but I don't know. I'm just Call of Duty's perfect for that. You don't think at all. You, yeah, Warzone is fun. You Warzone just fucking fun. run. You get a bunch of dopamine hits. The, the yeah. dopamine you play as Nicki Minaj. Yeah, that's what I do. You've been playing for how? When did you start playing CS? I started playing CS because of my brother when I was like way younger. But like I haven't been playing since then. But maybe the first time I played, I was like 10, 11. Jesus. Does Christ. your brother ever go like like I made you? Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> not really, but he is the reason I started playing though. It's like one of those things he was doing for fun with his friends. He'd play with his IRL friends and bring him over and shit like that. And then I started playing as well and then just took off with it. Yeah. Do you got the, the hard worker gene? Like you must right to get as good as you did. Yeah. I think grinding for sure. I'm definitely about that. Yeah. yeah. Let's run a marathon together. That'd be fucking sick. I can't believe you're doing that by the way. How's your training going? 
I'm, I'm a ran since my half. When's when's uh? I did a half marathon. Oh yeah, that's right. It's thirteen. Half sounds 1. like 13, a lot. Thirteen point one slime. Thirteen point one miles. That's right. Yeah. And how long? Uh, two hours thirty nine minutes. Two hours yeah. thirty nine minutes. Twelve minute mile pace. That's, that's pretty good. That's good. Five that's miles really, an hour. That's really good cardio. That's insane. My I cardio is terrible. I gotta work out. I don't like talking about it. You know what she's like? You don't like talking about it. He loves talking about it. Jump roping. Jump roping is really good. Jump roping is great, bro. Because you don't even need to run that much, and it kicks your ass, and you're like, damn, this is what children do. Two minutes and it kicks your ass. I Good can idea. jump rope for nine minutes now, and I feel like fucking Superman. Next time you tune into my stream, you're going to see me watching a match jump roping. <laughs> Damn. Yes. Are, past the walk are you still I've, on the treadmill? Yeah, the treadmill, yeah. That's what I was doing because... You're not uh, on it anymore, though? Well, because you were just online so much, I feel like. So I you got like to find a way to fit it into the stream. Yeah, I feel like I needed to, like... Dude, I've seen, I've seen the, uh, the elliptical that's yeah. only under the table. <laughs> Ooh. That's pretty... Hidden, yeah. hidden... Uh, I feel like it is nothing. It's less than... It's 150 calories an hour. So little. It is so little. little. Well, no, yeah. you put the hell of pressure on there, and I'm sure you can... But then you're just sweating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that. It'd be cool if you could make it what ma it's like your W key. Like you have to pedal to move forward. Ooh. Ooh. And so like if you want to move in the game, you got to go. That'd Ooh, be good. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking VR is going to go to where it's like you have the headset on and then you also have like a treadmill below you. So you have to like physically move around. Yeah. Yeah. And insane. then every gamer gets insane cardio and then we can fight in the grain war. We're too much yeah. of the game. Move on the from the game. The grain war is coming. talking about? Too much of the game. Too much gaming? Too much gaming. You, he's what would gonna, you rather he's do? I'm boxing though. We can't do that, right? Mm, mm. We could. Me and you? No, not me and you. <laughs> Crack your damn head open. Bow and it's like, it's like it. 5v5 in the ring and then 5v5 in the game. 5v5 yeah. in the ring and 5v5 and in it's a tag. It's like WrestleMania style. Yeah. <laughs> Hell in a cell. I was going to fight Ethos until my guy got changed for chess boxing. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. Yep. He was supposed to fight Ethos. Wait, what happens? Oh, well, Ethos is too young for him. Was you said was young? Too young. He's too young, too for young you. and agile. You were, sorry, you were too old for him. What is the, the correct phrasing? What are you talking about, bro? That's how, literally what happened. You were too old to fight him. Too frail. How old is he? Thought was like twenty. He's like twenty-three. I thought it was not that he was too old, but there was another person who was too old for his opponent. Yes, it's a bit of both. You basically, you have to be within ten years of each other in age. Wait, you can't have age gaps in boxing? No. And yeah, there's like big rules and stuff. I didn't know that. And so the stock guy was supposed to fight Yasuo, which was too big of an age gap. And then Ethos and Yasuo are same age, and you and Sokka are. But I, Ethos, I was gonna, like, Judy was like, he's gonna kill him. I'm yeah, me. Ethos, you know? I'm pretty sure Ethos has experience like fighting a little bit. Really? Yeah, like I, I forget where I heard that. But that would have been fun. You would have cracked his damn head open. I think it would have been like a cantaloupe. You know, he's yeah. sparring soon. Yeah, yeah, I spar next week. Really? I still box Dude, I want to watch. Fun. So I'm gonna get my ass kicked for the first time in by a by a professional amateur. There you go. That's also really good cardio. <laughs> Pro it is. Dude, you just die. Oh my god. If, if you want to get your cardio up, hit a bag or jump rope, do what boxers do. It's so fucking miserable. Just run. Yeah. No, it's not, it's not the same, Just man. run. I'm saying. You're using shit in your body that you're like, ah, I didn't know that existed and it hurts. Ouch, mm -hmm. stop. Mm -hmm. But it's great. I feel you. And if and it never steps to me, out. I'll probably never step to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. I love how he keeps it open, though. Yeah. Can you give me a, a promise? Sure. And I want you to not Ooh, break it. Before? What? How am I shaking before? It's just, you know. Just trust you. Just moving in. All right. Okay. That's trust. Not, there it is. You will not do the Fear and Podcast. Wait, why? Oh, no, thank no. you. Thank you for shaking your hand. Thank you for shaking <laughs> Ludwig's hand there. Over Hassan? Yeah. Appreciate it. You realize That's all hilarious. they do is, is two things. One, Go. lie. And two, bite our shit. <laughs> and three, charge they phone. And charge hold they on, hold damn on. I'll phone. show you an example of what will happen. Start, say, say something. Yeah. Just say any sentence. Okay. Uh, fear so anyway, Will, Will, <laughs> isn't Austin gay? Oh my God, Austin is so gay. Yeah, I'm gay. Let no, me tell you, Austin. Let me tell you. He I'm was at the gay. gay party being gay. Oh my God. <laughs> You're not yeah. gonna get a damn word in, <laughs> and they're gonna they're, they won't keep my name out their damn mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do your Austin impression. It's funny. Um. Wait, do I have an what Austin you impression? What you the other day, Austin? Um, um, I'm gay as fuck. You, you, like, <laughs> you, like, you, you go into his lower register. I can't access oh, it. Oh, dude, when he does his Trump. My Austin is just my Trump. They're the same voice. They do it because Austin show when Trump was heating up, loved doing an impression. And then he just lost it. Like he lost what made Austin show Austin show and he became Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just needs an accent. Yeah. He just needs to like be another guy. Right. Yeah. And like, it can be, it can be Trump. It can be. Any sort of ethnicity. From any, from any place in the world? Any place in the world. That's his versatility at play. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know about this. Call him a verse. I don't know about it. I was going to say, do you do GTA roleplay? I feel like you'd be no, great for it. I hate it. Really? Why? I think it's cringe. Why? Tell me you why think now. it's cringe? I think it's cringe. Yup. And whack. Well, 
What's it's the blown reason? up the charts right now. It is. It's actually already falling off, but it, it has <laughs> had <laughs> it's like, I already give almost it's every downfall. two years for the past six, seven years. GTRP has taken over the Twitch meta mm -hmm. and it's just like it's a cycle and usually comes with some major update to it and, and people really like it and I've, and I've watched a lot of it but I don't like watching it. Why, Dubbin? I think most of the interactions are a bit awkward yeah, or forced yeah, and a storyline needs to evolve and usually when a storyline starts and it culminates it's with every person who's a part of it wanting to be a part of it in some finale fashion, whether it's like a court case or storming the Capitol or whatever it is. And I think when many people are there, it's chaos because it's like everyone's got fucking protagonist syndrome and you can't have that many protagonists. And, and so that's, and, and I, I get why people like it and there's certain people who are really good at it. Like I, I like watching squeaks. I think squeaks is funny, but I also think he's funny when he plays. Mario I thought Kart. Austin show was that character this whole time. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Austin Show used to play a character called Rosh Patel. <laughs> I know, I used to love him okay. back when he was What? Back <laughs> what? I'm Seriously. learning a lot right now. You yeah. watched Rosh back then? Dude, dude, it's so crazy. <laughs> so you must have known about Cutie for a while. No, I only, I only, and this is, this is, uh, no, I didn't know about Cutie. Really? Because she was all over that shit. Really? No, yeah. I didn't know. So she cut her I, teeth. I used, yeah, I used to play RuneScape, and he used to play RuneScape, obviously. Oh. Yeah, and, and also randomly, okay, this is, this is So you super... love saying slurs. No, not even that. <laughs> not even that. Not, not, even, not, not just, just that. that. Not just that. that. That's, That's one of that. the many. There's more. That's not what I was trying to say. Even more than Salem. That's not what I was trying to say. I just love his personality. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. I, yeah, but I know I changed You watch him play RuneScape, like not do his shows then. So you watch him no. way old. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. way old, way old. Did you think he was Indian? Yes. <laughs> I did for sure. 100%. That's, That's crazy. crazy. He's so good at it. Again, yeah. He's good at what he does. He's really good. Did. 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 Yeah, Beer yeah. in. Great um, podcast. <laughs> um, I used to do this thing like when I was a streamer a very long time ago. It was called Freestyle Fridays, and it would just be super random. And we'd like have a guy in, in uh, TeamSpeak like, beatboxing, and mm -hmm. then we'd like bring in random viewers to like freestyle with my friend, and they would just, just freestyle each other. Randomly, one day, Raj came in and freestyle versus my friends. <laughs> oh, my God. In, and, in character. Uh, in character. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. And, um, Hold up. I'm going to use my, uh, an American accent I've been working on for this <laughs> one. <laughs> Um, the thing is that that I'm talking about. I don't think Austin likes to be referred to as Raj Patel anymore. No, definitely not. No, he yeah. likes to put it behind him, which yeah. is fair. And but he, yeah. and he has done leaps and bounds of work to move past it. Yeah, but here we are. And he's gay, <laughs> which I also think helps. But, yeah. it, but it built the foundation for the Fear and Podcast. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, he came in and destroyed my friend. But no, I just I love. <laughs> really, he's yeah. got flow. He's fired. Yeah, he's, yeah he was, it was it was hilarious. That's maybe one of the coolest things I've heard that's, about Austin. That's tight. It was awesome. I've, it makes me kind of overlook all the other stuff. It was awesome. Yeah, he came in and then he left right after. He didn't even like. He just like dropped the mic. Dropped the mic. Fuck that shit. <laughs> It, well, one final thing I wanted to bring up uh, before this show ends, and it's been great having you on, but Ludwig has said this thing for a long time about you specifically that I think is unfair. And he says that you don't smile very well. No! <laughs> oh my he says God. that your he smile... actually brings this up yeah. like, every, like every other episode. Single time. So, yeah. You're such and a he, coward. And he makes fun you're of the way coward. in which you smile, and I'd like to I set the I think your straight. smile could maybe uh, shine a thousand suns. Dude, or I maybe feel, grow the daisies. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, so I'm a huge asshole, and I think, I think it's a little it's, unnatural. Yo, it's good. It's good criticism. I feel like I hate <laughs> smiling for pictures. I, I totally hate it. Okay, it's like it feels forced, and yeah, I, I, it's also something I overthink. I feel like as really? well. You're an overthinker. I am an overthinker. Ludwig said this a lot. He's like, he's probably yeah. Overthinking Ludwig likes it. to say that it's in the eyes. Yeah, because yeah. well, I think you have a eyes. beautiful smile. I think when, when it I'm just happens like, candidly, when I'm just yeah, when it happens on its own, it's great. But like, I hate smiling for photos. Well, to end us here. No, 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 and then yeah. just, and also and then just a nice little smile to send the crowd home. It would be a lot prettier if you smiled. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, shout out to everyone watching. We appreciate you guys. And uh, this is my oh. first time uh, doing this podcast. I actually, I'm not going to lie, I haven't watched you guys' podcast before. I've obviously met you guys before, but I've only heard great things about it. And it's not because it's your guys' podcast, it's because I don't watch too many podcasts. In general, on my own. Yeah, we don't talk about the and all, effects all, of nicotine like fucking Andrew Huberman. We'll get yeah. there. And also, I don't really go on podcasts, so it's like something that I don't personally do on my own as well. Mm. So you it is uh, outside my comfort zone. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got to learn some stuff here. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Put him in the slop hole now. Why don't you fucking listen to me for once? Shut up! Oh, he snaps back. Shut up!
Perry. Finally. And and tell me what you mean. <laughs> Shut up and talk to me now. Let's have a conversation. What do you hate about shorts before we leave? You watch it and then you get sucked into a pit and you feel horrible about the pit you've been sucked into. What does and that mean? Because you watch.